You're tuning in to the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 1 Chapter 1 Sky Mountains, a place surrounded by a spiritual ambience. The Sky Cloud sect sat amid Sky Mountains, occupying the entire mountain range. It was in the morning when dynamic sounds of an ongoing martial arts practice broke the silence, where countless 14 to 15 year old youths were demonstrating a set of basic fist techniques on the training ground. Moving in uniform, their movements penetrated the air with a great force of wind. Ha! Huh. Isn't that senior brotherly Ling Tian? A young man cried out after he took a glance at the training ground entrance. That's right. It's him, the once genius disciple. Genius disciple. That's old news. He's a good-for-nothing now, a useless person that can never become a champion. Sigh, what a pity. If it wasn't for the hail, he would have become a warrior. Yes, he would enter the outer sect if he became a warrior. He must have done something that warranted indignation from men and the gods. Why else would a hail fall and cripple him? A bunch of youths hushed and gasped, mostly gratified at Li Lingtian's misfortune as they saw him walk in from the entrance. Hail descended from heaven at the exact moment this once genius disciple was going for warrior state, therefore interrupting his opportunity to build a bridge to the warrior soul and halting his footsteps as a warrior apprentice forever. Li Lingtian looked back at the youths on the training ground with a bitter smile on his face. After he had endured it for a month, he was now accustomed to these taunting looks. He entered the training ground without a pause as he traversed the place towards another direction, leaving behind only a lonely receding silhouette. Genius Disciple As Li Lingtian took one step after another, he smiled bitterly to himself, thinking, Genius Disciple. That's all in the past, now I'm only a piece of trash that can never be a warrior. Indeed, a month ago, he was indeed a genius. He had achieved tier 10 peak warrior apprentice at the tender age of 14 and was just a step away from advancing to warrior. So becoming a warrior was a done deal for him. However, the rare phenomenon of hail descended upon Sky Cloud sect during his advancement. The sudden clap of hail in June interrupted his opportunity into warriorhood, binding him to a warrior apprentice's status forever and making him a ridiculed piece of trash. As the saying went, better a chicken than a fallen phoenix. The disciples who respected him before used to address him as senior brotherly, but they now labeled him as a good-for-nothing after his failure in breaking through to warrior. Warrior soul. Gifted. Yes, I am a good-for-nothing. What right do I have to be called a genius? What hope do I have to become powerful? Li Lingtian smiled bitterly as he mumbled to himself. In this world where the laws of the jungle applied, only the strongest could survive and earn the respect of others. Warrior soul was an innate attribute that came with every warrior. By nature, the strength of this warrior soul was bounded to an individual's future fate. With an intact warrior soul, there must be a great talent. What was talent? No one could ever put it into words clearly but one thing was for sure, the greater the talent, the faster the cultivation and the higher the achievement. With greater talent, the multiplying effect was evident in cultivation. Without talent, results proved counterproductive in cultivation. In other words, it was just spinning one's wheels. So I transmigrated between worlds, but why must a genius be turned into a piece of trash? Isn't this playing me a fool? K. Sarah Sarah, whatever will be will be. No one would have thought that a young man's soul from the 21st century earth was living inside Li Ling Tian. A month ago, he who lived in the 21st century earth's thriving era was only a young man without property, car, or savings. Who knew hail would suddenly strike in the middle of sunny June and stun him out of consciousness? Once he was conscious, he found that he had transmigrated into a sky cloud sect disciple of the same name. This disciple who shared his name was actually a genius, a fire path genius, but he was struck by hail and became a good for nothing. More importantly, as one with a fire path warrior soul, 
he had a piece of hail that the size of a knuckle residing within his dantian. One, leaving him feeling as though he was in a glacial abyss. For the past month, he had grown immune to the taunts from many disciples as he now truly understood the principle of, the survival of the fittest. In this world, there was little depth to worldly wisdom, people only used their knuckles to do the talking. Nevertheless, he had slowly adapted to life here within a month. Apart from the taunts and ridicules, he had gradually stayed out of sight. In order to suppress the chills in his body, he spent most of his time on cultivation, using the flame from the earth's core to restrain the bitter cold. Gazing at the fiery red tunnel entrance, Li Lingtian cursed under his breath. This person was a genius before the transmigration, yet his arrival had turned this genius into a good-for-nothing. Their memories may have merged but their souls were not the perfect blend. When his thoughts jumped to the fact that this flesh was already at the age of fourteen, he realized that there was one more year to go. If one could not become a warrior by the age of fifteen, they must leave Sky Cloud sect and resume the identity of an ordinary mortal who would hustle through a meaningless life. This was because a year later, there was going to be a match between Sky Cloud sect disciples, where the peripherals would enter the outer sect, the outer sect would enter the inner sect, and inner sect elite disciples would compete. Unknowingly, Li Lingtian had made it through the training ground and arrived at the Fire Dragon Cave. Fire Dragon Cave was a ghastly place in the eyes of the peripheral disciples. As the temperature here was soaringly high, regular Fire Path warrior soul disciples dared not step foot in here to cultivate. However, cultivating in such a place would be more than doubly effective. The formerly Lingtian would not have run the risk of cultivating here. Nevertheless, since becoming a useless good for nothing, he had ventured to this place daily to cultivate. He depended on the high temperature and flame from Earth's core to suppress the cold in his body. Shu. The biting cold in Li Lingtian's body began to surface. With no time to hesitate, he headed straight inside Fire Dragon Cave. The cave entrance was about 200 square feet wide. Everything inside was flaming red. Curls of scorching pressure waves ravaged across the cave, so strong that they could knock any regular disciple unconscious. However, to Li Lingtian, it was a similar experience as entering a hot spring. Indeed, the chill in his body led him on the brink of breaking down, and his state was gradually worsening as well. He would not have survived for long if it were not for a place like this. Three yards. Six yards. Nine yards. It took Li Lingtian five whole minutes to reach a platform within the cave. The surrounding walls looked as though they were melting, and the same could be said for himself. Taking a seat cross-legged, he began to circulate his former body's flaming divine fist to resist the scorching temperature and suppress chill within him. If I didn't end up useless, surely my cultivation would have advanced effortlessly at this rate. Li Lingtian heaved a sigh before he went into a state of cultivation. In here, he could safely put his feet up as out of all the peripheral disciples, none of them had the ability to enter this cave. Alas, it was not meant to be. The moment he began his cultivation, a sinister laugh was heard coming from behind him. He he, I didn't think you'd be here. Li Ling Tian, today's your doomsday. Although he was inside the scorching fire dragon cave, the voice sent Li Ling Tian chills down his spine. Sensing the death threat by his intuition as a warrior, he trembled with fear. It's you. Standing up to take a look behind him, his heart sank. A tier 3 warrior. It was Yang Xiangguang, Sky Cloud Sex Outer Sect Disciple. Although he was only an outer sect disciple, he was far superior to the peripheral disciples who could only look on at the unattainable skills and treatment of an outer disciple. This Yang Xiangguang was already a tier 3 warrior. A warrior and a warrior apprentice could not be compared with one another. Even if Li Lingtian was a genius, it would not put him on the same level as a warrior. Yang Xiangguang was a disciple of the Yang family and he was taken under Sky Cloud Sex Wing two years before him. The Yang and Li families had always been rivals. 
Due to this, Li Lingtian's reputation as a genius had left the Yang family's disciples green with envy. That's right, it's me. Today is the day you die. You're just a piece of trash. Even if you die, no one in Sky Cloud sect would be concerned about you. Besides that, cultivating in Fire Dragon Cave is extremely dangerous, hee <laughs> hee. Yang Xiangwang stopped sixteen feet away from Li Lingtian. Smiling sinisterly, Yang Xiangwang gave Li Lingtian a look as though he was a dead man. I see you've been waiting for this day for a long time now. Are you afraid? Afraid that one day I'll surpass you? Ha! <laughs> for Yang Xiangwang to arrive at such a time, Li Lingtian who had been through two worlds had it figured out, Yang Xiangwang was planning to end him in Fire Dragon Cave. As Li Lingtian laughed out loud, his gaze obscurely moved behind Yang Xiangwang. He, a warrior apprentice had no chance against a tier 3 warrior so his only choice was to escape. Yang Xiangwang might be skillful but he would not dare lay a hand on him in Sky Cloud Sect. Yet to his dismay, his intention to escape was crushed when he detected several omnipotent life forces a short distance behind Yang Xiangwang. Don't even dream about escaping. Do you think a useless warrior apprentice like you can escape from me? Yang Xiangwang let out an evil laugh before he strutted towards Li Lingtian. Circulating his body with true qi, a layer of indistinct true qi screened him against the scorching temperature. He viciously struck a palm at Li Lingtian, pushing the scorching pressure apart with a powerful rigid force. Then in a blink of an eye, he appeared before Li Lingtian. Flaming Divine Fist Upon witnessing this, Li Lingtian's eyes revealed a look of despair but he steeled himself more so to overcome this situation with his resoluteness. Even if he had to die, he was going to drag someone down with him. Flaming Divine Fist was a force to be reconciled with. It was a powerful martial art amongst various warrior souls. Pairing it together with the environment here intensified the drive of Flaming Divine Fist. Wham! At a dull blow, the fist and palm forces collided. At the same time, Li Lingtian grabbed Yang Xiangguang with his unoccupied arm and gripped tightly onto him. The impactful collision forced Li Lingtian's body to the back of the platform. In a flash, he had retreated to the edge. If he lost his footing, a bottomless abyss of endless flames awaited him. Let go. It had never crossed Yang Xiangguang's mind that Li Lingtian would take him down with him. At the sight of endless flames, he was filled with fear. If he were to fall in, not even an immortal would be able to spare him from melting into molten lava. Wham wham, wham wham. He struck Li Lingtian with his fist over and over but he could not loosen Li Lingtian's grip. At this rate, he would certainly be dragged down into the abyss. Vomiting mouthfuls of blood, Li Lingtian was about to lose his conscience but his eyes still shimmered with menacing determination to be omnipotent, the determination to be at the top of the food chain was even stronger. You piece of shit, you can't even handle a good for nothing. It's better if you're gone. At the sound of a faint voice, a gust of wind carried through the scorching heat and swiftly swept past the edge of the platform. The gale was faster than Li Lingtian could imagine. Wham! Following the noise, a powerful palm force viciously slammed onto Yang Xiangguang's back, which caused both Yang Xiangguang and Li Lingtian to fall into the bottomless flaming abyss. Yang Tianfeng Yang Tianfeng, I will eliminate the Yang family if I ever survive. A furious cry came from Yang Xiangguang's mouth while Li Lingtian voiced a firm tone with bloodshot eyes. Yang Xiangguang might not have had a good look at the person who had ambushed him, but he could still identify the mastermind because the only person who dared to lay a finger on him was Yang Tianfeng. The two voices echoed down to nothingness before it disappeared in the depths of the bottom flaming abyss. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 2 Chapter 2 the bottomless flaming abyss was like a fire dragon devouring all living things. The last thing Li Lingtian saw was a taunting face and scornful eyes. 
With Li Lingtian's hands still tightly gripped onto Yang Xiangguang, they were soon devoured in the bottomless flaming abyss and they burned in endless raging flames. Even a fire path warrior soul such as he was a withered leaf against this bottomless flaming abyss. Suddenly, Li Lingtian's hands felt empty, followed by the sensation of his hands on fire. When he turned to Yang Xiangguang, his eyes red filled with bitter despair. The flames had vaporized Yang Xiangguang into thin air. If the powerful tier 3 warrior could not survive in this heat, let alone himself. I once heard that the most painful death is being burnt to death while the easiest death is dying in one's sleep. Now I, too. Li Lingtian empathized with the vaporized Yang Xiangguang whom he dragged down with him. He was also being burned to death, but at the thought of being burnt alive, he suddenly felt something was amiss. Yang Xiangguang was vaporized into thin air, yet he as a warrior apprentice had survived longer than Yang Xiangguang. More shockingly, he did not feel any burning sensations. Aghast, he turned his gaze onto himself and was completely blown over. All he saw was a deep blue glow that was wrapped around him, blocking the endless flames on the outside. This glow was coming from within his body. Could it be the ice from my dantian? He was right. The knuckle-sized piece of ice was continuously spinning in his dantian, releasing a chilly glow that resisted against the heat. At this very moment, he felt no chills nor scorching heat. His body continued to fall further and further, and the more he fell the more powerful the flames were. The flames went from red to white. The white flames were in itself signs of abnormality as its force had far exceeded the imagination of any regular warrior. I guess I'll live a little longer. Li Lingtian thought to himself. The piece of hail within him probably would not last long in this bottomless flaming abyss. Even if he could make it through, he could not possibly make it back up there. He was anguished. He was knocked out of his consciousness by hail only to transmigrate to the sky cloud sect, which turned a genius firepath warrior soul into a good for nothing. He came here to cultivate in order to suppress the hail yet they would only kill him. Time went on until he was struck by pain, a scorching pain. The chilly gleam was still intact but the peculiar flames had corroded his body. Pust. Following a faint noise, his body stopped and was suspended amid the flames. The chilly gleam had formed a ten-foot ring around him. Underneath him was a mystical flame of magenta. As if the flame had a mind of its own, it formed a shimmer to resist the chilly glow. With the extreme chilly gleam and extreme raging flame coming to blows, Li Lingtian was caught and crushed between these two extremes. This is. This is the fire dragon's heart, the real fire dragon's heart. Terrified, he took a look down. Within the flame, he saw a knuckle-sized pattern in the core of the flame. Right in the middle was a small version of the fire dragon. Since he knew a thing or two about the fire dragon, he realized that this knuckle-sized flame's core was the fire dragon's heart. It was no wonder this bottom flaming abyss was called Fire Dragon Cave. There really was a fire dragon in eternal rest here. Pu Chi. He spewed a mouthful of blood. The piece of hail inside his body hastened its spinning, emitting ring after ring of horrifying chilly gleams. It seemed as if these chilly gleams were set out to turn the flaming abyss into glaciers. However, as Li Lingtian's fragile body could not withstand this monstrous energy, he spat out more blood. Rumble. Something strange then unfolded. The moment the fresh blood trickled over the fire dragon's heart, it started to vibrate which consequently prompted the chilly gleam and fire dragon's heart to violently clash against one another. Li Lingtian lost his consciousness from the impact of the two omnipotent forces, leaving him unaware of what was to come. Shu. As time passed, Li Lingtian opened his eyes in a daze but soon his face turned pale with fear. The flame was still present but the chilly gleam had disappeared. However, this flame began to weaken significantly and did him no harm while the chilly gleam was nowhere to be seen. He was confused by the fact that he was still alive. So, he tapped into his divine mindfulness. 1, 
to look through his body and he was shocked by his discovery. Tier 2 Warrior I've become a warrior. How did the fire dragon's fire end up in my dantian? The hail is in here too. Realizing that he had gone from a tier 10 warrior apprentice to a tier 2 warrior, he was lost in his thoughts for a moment at this peculiar change. He had failed in his advancement to warriorhood yet emerged as a tier 2 warrior. Before he was over his shock, a mysterious message entered into his mind. As though as it was engraved in his divine mindfulness, it was stuck in his memory and was impossible to forget. Unable to endure the powerful message that jumped into his knowledge C. 1. His face grimaced with pain. Soon, the message sending was complete. Rows and rows of rune-like golden words swiveled in his mind. Immemorial Ice Crystal Heaven and Earth Reincarnation Ha! Huh. My soul has perfectly integrated. Upon realizing his current situation, Li Lingtian cried out in alarm with a strange look on his face. With the perfect blend and merging of two souls, as well as the wisdom from his 21st century past, he could finally make sense out of everything. The hail from his past life was triggered by that immemorial ice crystal. He was naturally akin to water, and water and ice were from the same origin. Who would have thought that the immemorial ice crystal would bring his soul to Sky Cloud Sect to take possession of a fire path genius? As ice and fire were conflicting elements, a genius ended up a good for nothing. The heaven and earth reincarnation was sealed inside the immemorial ice crystal. His fall into the bottomless flaming abyss inadvertently triggered the fire dragon's heart, leading it to enter his dantian and work against the immemorial ice crystal. Then, the immemorial ice crystal's heaven and earth reincarnation was activated, balancing the flame from the fire dragon's heart and cold from the immemorial ice crystal. As this flesh was a blazing sacred body, the integration of souls in the raging flames had pushed his cultivation level to tier 2 warrior. Ha, ha. I can't believe I have a blazing sacred body. With this body in the heaven and earth reincarnation, I'll be able to cause havoc in this life. As he came to grips with the situation, Li Lingtian could not hold in his laughter any longer. His eyes held a fearsome glint, he finally saw light at the end of the tunnel after two deaths. Ice Vitality Warrior Soul The immemorial ice crystal has become an ice vitality warrior soul. Overjoyed, he carefully examined the immemorial ice crystals and realized that apart from the fire path warrior soul, there was another warrior soul in existence, the ice vitality warrior soul. The integration of souls and past life's wisdom gave him an insight that it was all due to the immemorial ice crystal for he, who was akin to water had attained an ice vitality warrior soul. It was unheard of for a person to possess two warrior souls, and of conflicting elements too. Ice Vitality Warrior Soul, come. At that thought, he circulated his warrior body's true chi and released an extreme chill from his body to form a deep blue knuckle-sized ray. The immemorial ice crystal continued to spin in providing this cold pressure. Without warning, the endless flames transformed into glaciers but the flaming true chi in his body quietly remained, unaffected by the conflict. Fa. He slowly let out a breath. This ice vitality warrior soul was simply revering. A mere single strand of ice true chi was capable of unleashing such a powerful force within him. In this case, a warrior could be frozen to an ice sculpture. With my cultivation level still low, I can't unleash the ice vitality warrior soul's full potential. I'll have to build my strength and bring this ice vitality warrior soul to full play but first, I must find a way to refine the immemorial ice crystal. Li Lingtian exhaled slowly and plopped his butt onto the ground. Although the Ice Vitality Warrior Soul carried a shocking force, he was not in full control even when he forcefully unleashed it a little. Moreover, his Ice Vitality Warrior Soul was still fully dependent on the immemorial ice crystal. He had to figure out a way to fortify the Ice Vitality Warrior Soul. The taste of being omnipotent was capable of making one lose their mind. After that, Li Lingtian swiftly stabilized his state and sustained his tier 2 warrior cultivation, 
which included the activated blazing sacred body and extreme ice vitality warrior warrior soul. Flaming True Chi, return. Allow me to break through. Two days later, Li Lingtian's bodily state was stabilized. He used to cultivate flaming divine fits daily and although it was only an amber level inferior skill, it proved capable. Besides, tempering the blazing sacred body in the flames during cultivation was the goal. In two days, there were already signs of breakthrough in his tier 2 peak warrior state. Huh, tier 3 warrior, tier 3 warrior. I can be lost in this feeling of omnipotence. His flaming true chi burst through the tier 2 boundary and landed him completely within the tier 3 stage. With the fire dragon's heart in fire dragon cave taken away, the flames were not that strong to begin with. After playing a hand in it, the flames here had begun to weaken immensely. Yang Tianfeng, just you wait. I will retrieve the glory that is mine. Wait for me, the world, wait to tremble at my feet. Oh bugger, how do I get out of here? Li Ling Tian grew confident with his tier 3 warrior's ability. A flame of destruction brewed within him at the thought of the month-long taunts and Yang Tianfeng's dirty tricks. His eyes moved upwards as he looked at the endless flames spiraling to the top, but he could not gauge the height. If he wished for glory and honor, he had to first get out of here. Li Ling Tian then began to search around for a way to leave this place. Finally, a bending passageway was presented before him. With one look, he knew that this sixteen feet long passageway was the fire dragon's entrance path. Li Ling Tian did not hesitate upon finding this passageway. Very quickly, he walked out. The further outwards he moved, the lower the scorching temperature was until he could no longer feel the heat. After having walked several feet, he came to a waterhole but there was no pathway ahead. With slight hesitation, he jumped and vanished in the waterhole. You're tuning in to the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 3 Chapter 3 It was late in the night and stars were shimmering in the dark sky. Sky Mountains was veiled with an air of mystery as if a dragon was entrenched under the night sky. At this time, all of Sky Cloud Sex warriors were either deep in cultivation or slumber. It was peaceful around the waterhole until ripples appeared in the waters and out dashed a figure. I'm finally out. The figure landed by the waterhole. He scanned his surroundings before he curled his lips to a faint smile. After Li Ling Tian left Fire Dragon Cave, he dived down the waterhole and kept swimming. The pathway in the waterhole was similar to the passageway and after two whole hours, he finally arrived. He took a look around before he moved swiftly, making a dash towards his residence. This waterhole was the region of the peripheral disciples, so he made it back to his room in less than five minutes. It was a single cultivation room. Although he was a peripheral disciple, he had quite the background. He was the only son of Sky Dragon Empire's nobleman Pingbei, which made him an aristocrat of the Sky Dragon Empire. In the Sky Dragon Empire, be it the prince, princess, or aristocrats, were required to get an apprenticeship in a sect to cultivate, and Li Ling Tian was no exception. If they did not advance to warrior by the age of fifteen, they would be sent back to their families. Soon, Li Ling Tian returned to his residence. He was originally a fire path warrior soul warrior but he was now a tier three warrior. With his powerful abilities, his dripping wet clothes were soon dried off with his true qi. Sitting inside his room with his legs crossed, he circulated the heaven and earth reincarnation to absorb the spiritual qi in the air before he converted it into true qi in his dantian. He used to cultivate fire path true qi, which absorbed spiritual qi that was a fire element while eliminating the spiritual qi of other attributes. Now with the heaven and earth reincarnation, he could absorb both water and fire attributes. Compared to other warriors, the amount and variety of spiritual qi were naturally doubled. Flaming Divine Fist After an hour of cultivation, he left the room and arrived at an empty space behind his residence. It was late at night so the other disciples were in deep sleep. 
there would not be anyone around at such a time. He swiftly demonstrated the flaming divine fist he cultivated. For a moment, the air was filled with such a devouring force of scorching heat, it was as though the air could be lit on fire. Wham! Pouring a stream powerful tear three warriors true chi onto his arm, he smashed a heavy flaming divine fist onto a boulder with a loud bang. The three-foot boulder was smashed to smithereens. A tier 3 warrior's flaming divine fist is incomparable to any other warrior. I doubt a tier 4 warrior can handle this. Ha, huh, has flaming divine fist reached its peak? Li Ling Tian let out a faint smile at the sight of the smashed boulder but he immediately felt that there was something amiss. His flaming divine fist was only an amber level inferior skill. In other words, it was the worst skill yet it could produce such strength. Apart from cultivating this skill to the fullest, he had become well adapted to this world after the memory and soul had perfectly integrated. This world was called the Divine Martial Continent. Sky Cloud Sect was only one sect within many others in the Sky Dragon Empire. The Divine Martial Continent adhered to the survival of the fittest and only the fittest deserved wealth, money, and women. In the Divine Martial Continent, it was not only an individual's warrior soul that decided the fate of who was the fittest, but there were also skills, techniques, pills, and weapons. If he were to take a metaphor from his past life, a warrior soul and talent was a gun while skills were bullets. Only a high cultivation level could bring these skills to full play. Skills were divided into amber, onyx, earth, heaven, sacred, and divine level with each level differentiated into inferior, moderate, or superior. Most sects had only managed to get their hands on amber and onyx level skills in the divine martial continent. It had been several centuries since an earth level skill had made an appearance while heaven level skill techniques were merely a legend. Regardless of the skill, cultivation was required to drive its force. The degree of force consisted of completion, fruition, summit, and conception. A regular genius could only cultivate the skill to fruition, and summit was out of the question, let alone conception. Conception would only happen when one outdid themselves by evolving the original force, it was an abnormal existence. Flaming Divine Fist was the most common amber level inferior skill in Sky Cloud sect of which peripheral disciples were allowed to cultivate. Li Ling Tian, as a fire path warrior soul had cultivated several years just to achieve fruition and this was because he became a tier 10 warrior apprentice by the age of 14. More so, it was by achieving fruition in his flaming divine fist that had earned him the reputation as a genius. It had never crossed his mind that after the merging of their souls, paired together with his past's 21st century wisdom, he was able to master the skill at first glance. Flaming Divine Fist in Summit may not live up to the force of an amber level superior skill but they do not differ much in comparison. I'm already a warrior but entering the outer sect isn't my goal. Humph. Geniuses of the inner sect, just you wait. It was early the next day when Li Ling Tian got up. He could feel the energy running through his veins and he was in great spirits. He could not keep down the faint smile on his face. As he took a steady pace toward the training ground, countless disciples sneered and scorned at the sight of Li Ling Tian. This once genius would never be a warrior. He he, if it isn't Senior Brotherly, are you going to cultivate today? Huh, Senior Brotherly, although you've been cultivating in Fire Dragon Cave daily, don't even think about breaking through to the warrior state. It's best you return to the Li family to spend the rest of your life. Zhang Luo, aren't you a tier 8 warrior apprentice? Don't you know that senior brother Li is a tier 10 peak warrior apprentice? Huh, I may be a tier 8 warrior apprentice but I can still be a warrior. It's far better than someone who will always be stuck as a warrior apprentice. Those who used to follow behind Li Ling Tian mocked him with disdain. When Li Ling Tian was formerly a genius, they used to hover around him like a lackey to earn his favor. Yet, now that he was a good-for-nothing, they could not resist the chance to hit him. Are you going to catch a shriveling disease if you don't open your mouth? Get lost. Smiling faintly, Li Ling Tian gazed at these tier 8 warrior apprentice disciples as though they were monkeys doing tricks. 
Following a shout, he glared at these warrior apprentices with cold eyes. You, you. These warrior apprentices were taken aback with fear at Li Lingtian's cold gaze. A skinny camel still triumphed over a horse, even if he went from a genius to a good-for-nothing, he still reigned prominence over them. Not to mention that he was now a tier 3 warrior and these warrior apprentices were nothing against him. Li Ling Tian was about to head straight to the training ground when a cold taunting voice stopped him in his tracks. A murderous intent surged within him. Li Ling Tian, you're not dead. It was a cold voice but it carried a hint of shock. He had personally knocked Li Ling Tian down the fire dragon cave five days ago, yet here he was, unscathed. It was fairly unusual. You must be surprised that I'm not dead, right? I bet you never expected it. I don't know whether to thank you or hold a grudge against you. Li Ling Tian turned around to glance at the warrior with piercing eyes. Yang Tian Feng who was a tier 4 peak warrior was the person who shot Yang Xiangwang and him down the bottomless flaming abyss with his fist force five days ago. He would never forget this voice and looks even if he turned to ashes. As a man who died twice, Li Ling Tian was not going to allow any threat to appear before him. Instead, he was going to nip the threat in its bud. During that time, more disciples came over and encircled Li Ling Tian and Yang Tian Feng with curiosity. As an outer sect disciple and tier 4 warrior, Yang Tian Feng often threw his weight around the peripheral disciples, so there was barely anyone who did not recognize him. It seemed that these peripheral disciples had found gratification in Yang Tian Feng picking a fight with Li Ling Tian. Since you're not dead, I'll cripple you today. Yang Tian Feng was dumbfounded by Li Lingtian's calmness and he felt a tightness in his chest. How could a piece of trash that could never be a warrior carry himself with ease? Upon recalling his plot against Yang Xiangguang and Li Lingtian, he was filled with killing intent. It was against the rules to get involved in scuffles and slaughters among fellow disciples in Sky Cloud sect. He would not see the end of it if Li Lingtian were to inform the higher-ups. He would only be safe if he crippled Li Ling Tian, which would then force him to be sent out of the sect. Oh really? I would have dragged you out anyway if you didn't come to find me today. Li Ling Tian said in a calm demeanor before he walked towards the training ground, ignoring Yang Tian Feng completely. The other disciples were amazed to see how Li Ling Tian carried himself. For him to be arrogant in front of a tier 4 warrior was like knocking on death's door, because a tier 10 warrior apprentice would not survive a warrior's single move. You think you can leave? Noticing Li Ling Tian walking away, Yang Tian Feng came in Li Ling Tian's way in a flash. The killing intent was apparent on his scornful face. Don't you want to cripple me? I'm fulfilling your wish. Li Ling Tian pointed at the platform in the middle of the training ground. The 16 feet high and a thousand square feet platform was made especially for matches between disciples. This training platform served another purpose and it was to allow fights between disciples who held grudges. Similar to the life or death canyon in the outer sect, it was not against the sect's rules if the fight happened on the platform. After saying those words, he ignored Yang Tian Feng and walked steadily towards the training platform, leaving behind the disciples with their jaws dropped. He's courting death. I guess he doesn't want to live anymore. It looks like the genius who can't ever become a warrior has lost it. Isn't that challenging the authority of a warrior? Is he out of his mind? The disciples finally came back to their senses when Li Ling Tian had made it up on the platform. They immediately gathered around the platform after noticing Li Ling Tian was up there. I'll fulfill your wish to die then. Yang Tian Feng was stunned to see Li Ling Tian on the platform. Was this Li family's disciple really seeking his death? Nevertheless, something did not sit well with him. This Li Ling Tian gave out a different vibe and he felt threatened by that. However, his thoughts were reeled back to the fact that Li Ling Tian was only a warrior apprentice while he was a tier 4 warrior genius that could eliminate him with a smack. It was a rare opportunity to cripple Li Ling Tian. His cousin would be elated and he, of course, would reap the benefits. For a moment, 
more than a hundred disciples looked on with disdain, gloat, apathy, and mockery. Sympathy was the only sentiment they did not have for Li Ling Tian who was on the platform. Isn't this blatant provocation? It's still an honor if he dies. He challenged a tier 4 warrior genius after all. I heard senior brother Yang Tian Fong is at tier 4 peak. He has attained an amber level moderate massive tier palm. He can even fight a tier 5 master. Can you guess, how long will Trashly last? I'm guessing, 3 seconds. I guess 2 seconds. I say, instant kill. A tier 4 warrior who has mastered an amber level moderate massive tier palm would cripple a warrior, let alone a warrior apprentice in a single move. The disciples started to place bets to see how long Li Ling Tian would last on the platform. Still, Li Ling Tian smiled calmly as he concealed his murderous intent within. Yang Tian Fong must be crippled. After all, this tier 4 warrior stood no chance against his divine flaming fist. Humph, don't blame me for knocking at death's door. Yang Tian Fong was overwhelmed with anger. How dare a useless warrior apprentice challenged him? What would be made of him if he showed his face amongst the outer sect seniors? Are you just full of sh asterisk t? If bullsh asterisk t works, you'll reign supreme in this world. Li Ling Tian looked down his nose at Yang Tian Fong. A warrior who could not keep his cool during a battle would not amount to anything. Ha, 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 he he. Laughter roared beneath the platform. Although they thought nothing much of Li Ling Tian, he still had the guts to humiliate a tier 4 master. It was a rare sight indeed. However, at the sight of Yang Tianfeng's furious cold eyes, they immediately shut their trap before getting the worst of it. Go to hell. Yang Tianfeng blew his top. Without another thought, he circulated his tier 4 warrior Chu Qi and suddenly, a tearing force expanded at the lift of his arm. Massive tear palm, die. The air was ripped apart by this force. This amber level moderate skill and true chi from a tier 4 peak warrior shocked the disciples below. They could feel this terrifying ripping force even though they were a distance away from the platform. The disciples would definitely be ripped apart if they were the ones against him. The receding shadow of a ripping palm that carried a fierce pressure was slammed towards Li Ling Tian. The velocity was so fast it could not be captured by the disciples' naked eye. The disciples watched this palm with horror, as they could imagine Li Ling Tian killed and crippled by this palm. Rumble. Forces exploded on the platform amid sounds of dull crashes, and the powerful pressure blinded the disciples' eyes shut. You're tuning in to the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 4 Chapter 4 Flaming Divine Fist With calmness in his eyes and a smile that was still on his face, Li Ling Tian earnestly studied the massive tearing palm attack before he gently nodded. He had a new understanding of this amber level moderate skill. It was indeed more powerful than an inferior skill. Nevertheless, Yang Tianfeng may be a tier 4 warrior with a moderate skill but he had not mastered this massive tearing palm. He had yielded its force only to a mere completion and hence, he could not bring this skill to full play. As the massive tearing palm gained on him, Li Ling Tian let out a shout and his body of true qi erupted. Suddenly, an explosive force of flames gushed forward over the platform. The temperature rose rapidly within a 500 feet radius. All that could be seen were the fist bearing flames that came face to face with the palm force. A warrior, he's a warrior. How can it be? Didn't he fail in advancing to warrior? How did he become a warrior? Flaming divine fist, only a warrior can unleash the flames. He's a warrior. He still can't escape death even if he's a warrior. He's only a tier 1 warrior with an amber level inferior skill. He doesn't stand a chance against a tier 4 warrior with an amber level moderate skill. Many disciples went pale when they saw Li Lingtian's fist varying flames. It was as though they had seen a ghost. 
However, it was then brought to their minds that a tier 1 warrior attempting an inferior skill was no match to a tier 4 warrior using a moderate skill. The gap between one tier made all the difference, defining them worlds apart. Humph, he's merely a tier 4 warrior, Li Lingtian murmured. Then, he braved his flaming divine fist forward before it viciously collided onto the massive tearing palm, with a disdainful look in his eyes. The force from his blazing sacred body and fire dragon's heart alone was enough to take out a tier 4 warrior without his ice vitality warrior soul. So much for a newly advanced warrior. If that's the case, all the more you deserve to die. Yang Tianfeng's heart sank at the sight of Li Lingtian's fist. This piece of trash had become a warrior, a genius that had advanced to a warrior at 14. For this, he must perish. However, he paid no heed at the looks Li Lingtian was giving him. It was as though he was looking at a dead man. Rumble. The two attacks clashed violently and an explosion erupted, spreading out a powerful residual force that rushed towards those under the platform. Ah! PFT Shu! A blood-curdling scream filled the air as a figure was hurled away, leaving a trail of fresh blood before crashing violently beneath the platform. Call me a piece of trash. I'll show you what a real piece of trash really is. I will not kill you but you'll live your life in suffering. Li Lingtian dully gazed at the disciples beneath the platform as he raised his cold voice without taking a glance at Yang Tianfeng. After that, he turned to walk down the platform and headed in a different direction. He wondered what had become of the place after he had suffered Yang Tianfeng's plot and attained the fire dragon's heart. The earlier fist with flames had crippled Yang Tianfeng's Dantian, but not without diffusing a raging flame strain in his body. Apart from Li Lingtian, no one else in this world could disperse this blazing tension. Ah! A Tier 4 warrior defeated? How can this possibly be? A Tier 1 warrior defeated a Tier 4 warrior genius. Isn't he a good for nothing? Does this mean he has succeeded in his advancement to a warrior and was just stabilizing his state? By the time the disciples below recovered from the shock, they were alarmed to find Yang Tianfeng with one foot in the grave. It left quite the aftershock. Various assumptions filled their minds but they could not find a good reason behind it. He had failed in breaking through to become a warrior yet a month later, he defeated a tier 4 warrior genius with a single assault. Was he still the same good for nothing? Many disciples considered themselves lucky for leaving Li Lingtian out of mockery but a handful of disciples became hot under the collar. Before they could curry favor with Li Lingtian, he was long gone. In less than ten seconds, the hundred over disciples dispersed from the training ground, abandoning the half-dead Yang Tianfeng there. Li Lingtian took a look around the fire dragon cave before he returned to his room. The flames in the fire dragon cave had remained but it seemed to be lacking something. He was crystal clear of what was lacking. Defeating Yang Tianfeng was only a start. He was no longer interested in becoming an outer sect disciple because of his achievement as a warrior. Instead, his goal was the match between the sky cloud sect disciples that would be held a year later. Everyone was a warrior genius in the inner sect. Although he had a blazing sacred body and ice vitality soul, he was short in cultivation level. He had to temper himself in the outside world. After cultivating a cycle of the heaven and earth reincarnation, he was pleased as punch. This heaven and earth reincarnation was indeed impressive with its ability to absorb spiritual chi at the fast rate and convert the energy at an even faster rate. However, he had merely unlocked the first level of this heaven and earth reincarnation at his current cultivation level. He had no inkling of the extent of this powerful existence. The golden runes in his knowledge see held a profound solemnity and it could not be deciphered by a warrior such as he. Only by improving his cultivation level could he attain a more omnipotent role. He made preparations by packing some dry provisions and a long sword before he left the room and walked towards the outer sect. He had not walked far when he stopped in his tracks. His smile deepened at the sight of a familiar face. A breathtaking figure appeared by a path in the outer sect. 
Li Ling Tian recognized this young lady. In his memory, he had nothing but adoration for this young woman. Nan Gong Minyue, a royal princess from the imperial family in the Sky Dragon Empire. She was also an inner sect genius disciple, a goddess in the hearts of the inner sect's younger generation. Detecting a gaze from behind, Nan Gong Minyue stopped and turned to look at Li Ling Tian. With knitted brows, a hint of disgust flashed past her exquisite face. It's you. Nan Gong Minyue said in a soft melodic voice as Li Ling Tian came forth. However, she felt uncomfortable with the look Li Ling Tian was giving her. Of course it's me. Li Ling Tian dully replied. Retaining a smile on his face, he sized up the young lady before him. She wore an elegant yet light apparel and had a stunning face which was accompanied by a graceful temperament that one could only look up to. That's right, the supposed beauties are nothing against her. Li Ling Tian mumbled to himself. As he thought about the beauties in his past life, there was a stark contrast between them and Nan Gong Minyue. What did you say? Nan Gong Minyue's repugnance deepened towards Li Ling Tian who was caught mumbling under his breath. As one of her suitors, Li Ling Tian pestered her constantly on the emphasis that he was an aristocrat but she often gave him the attitude. Nothing, Li Ling Tian dully responded. You should give up. You'll forever be a warrior apprentice while I'm a tier 9 peak warrior. I am the royal princess of the imperial family while you are only nobleman Pingbei's son, an heir to a noble house that can never be a warrior. So. Nan Gong Mingyue stared at Li Ling Tian. The empire may be powerful but nobleman Pingbei was the empire's pillar, so it was best to refrain from stepping on toes. She was already giving face by telling Li Ling Tian in such a way. However, she was at the end of her rope at Li Ling Tian for interrupting her before she could finish. So I'm after someone way out of my league. Li Ling Tian let out a faint laugh. The former master of his body did indeed pursue Nan Gong Minyue but that was all in the past. He was no longer the former Li Ling Tian. Casually, he shot back, I have no feelings for you. Don't get the illusion that you're amazing just because you're the royal princess of the imperial family or an inner sect genius. These are nothing in my eyes. You're just a tier 9 peak warrior. When he was done, he disregarded Nan Gong Minyue by brushing past her. He had seen a lifetime of people who were full of themselves. Who would have thought this Nan Gong Minyue was the same? The path to martial arts was a journey towards greater depth and every state was as rigorous as it could be. They were divided into warrior apprentice, warrior, warrior spirit, warrior king, warrior ascendant, warrior emperor, warrior major, warrior ruler, warrior saint, and warrior god. These states could be broken down into nine sub-tiers. 1. The disparity between states made a world of difference while the gap between tiers proved to be poles apart. There was also the legendary godlike boundary above warrior god. What was the use of having good looks? The world was not short of beautiful women. He could have anything he wanted once he garnered great strength. You, you. Nan Gong Minyue returned to her senses as she looked at Li Lingtian's receding figure. Unable to take the edge off, she was so up in arms that she did not have a comeback. A noble goddess of countless inner sect disciples such as her was brushed aside by a good for nothing. Humph, wait till I deal with you. Her anger was lifted a while later. As a sly smile appeared on Nan Gong Mingyue's exquisite face, she swiftly left the outer sect and moved outside the sect territory. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 5 Chapter 5 Sky Mountains extended 300 miles across the Sky Dragon Empire. Sky Cloud Sect was one of the four major super sects in Sky Dragon Empire that monopolized the Sky Mountains resources. This Sky Mountains had become a training heaven for the 10,000 disciples of Sky Cloud Sect but no one had dared to go forth into the depths of the mountain range. There was a legend that the unrivaled demonic beasts lay deep within Sky Mountains. 
Li Ling Tian was only a tier 3 warrior so, of course, he would not be so dumb to give his life away by entering the depths. After leaving the sect, Li Ling Tian swiftly made way inside the mountain range. A powerful warrior would not rely solely on talent and warrior soul, but he or she would also require other exterior resources. Pills, he had no possession of. Weapons, he too had no possession of. Skills, neither did he have possession of. All he had was the heaven and earth reincarnation, a flaming warrior soul, and an ice vitality warrior soul which he had no control over. In order to get his hands on these, he must bet his bottom dollar in killing the demonic beasts and exchange their inner vital for spiritual stones. People traded skills and techniques with spiritual stones in Sky Cloud Sect. This way, the sect was able to replenish its resources while at the same allowing its disciples to gain experience. After making it into the mountain range, he came across many peripheral disciples on the way and they were all in groups. A warrior apprentice disciple was not capable of killing even the lowest level demonic beast so the only option was to team up. The senior brother ahead, please wait. A sonorous voice was heard. Mm, -hmm, can I help you? Puzzled, Li Lingtian turned around to look at the person talking before he asked. Are you also going into the mountain range to hunt demonic beasts? Shweda examined Li Lingtian's cultivation level. The cultivation of a tier 3 warrior may be a little low but it was an extra pair of hands if they joined forces. I was thinking that it might be dangerous for you to venture alone into the mountain range. So why don't we form a team and divide our resources evenly? We have three fellow disciples with us and with you on board, our chances would be better. Do you often go in there to hunt demonic beasts? Li Ling Tian fixed his eyes on this huge build, six foot tall man before him. He could tell at first glance that this man, who was releasing a heavy stench of earth path true chi had an earth path warrior soul and he was proficient in defense type techniques. A tier 5 warrior would indeed be of great help. After all, it was his first time slaughtering demonic beasts so he needed a strong team. Of course. Okay, I agree. Let me introduce you. I'm Shweda, this is Shangwan Linger, this is Chen Yun, and that is Lan Luo. They are a great asset to the team. Shweda introduced the three fellow disciples who stood a short distance behind him. One of them was a tier 4 warrior. Although this 16 or 17 year old young girl did not have a heart stopping appearance, she had radiant looks. There was also a young man called Chin Yun in his 20s who was a tier 6 warrior. The last person with a face of disdain was Lan Luo, and he was a tier 7 warrior. Humph, why look for a tier 3 warrior trash, Shweda? Wouldn't he hold us back? Lan Luo stared at Li Ling Tian with growing contempt. Refusing to pay Li Ling Tian any respect, he called him trash. Senior brother Lan, we are all fellow disciples. You. Shang Wan Linger frowned and rebuked at the sight of Lan Luo insulting this unfamiliar disciple. All right, let's hit the road. We'll divide the work as we go. Shweda mediated the dispute in chuckles. Now with a team of five, it should be smooth sailing as long as they did not come face to face with a first-tier peak demonic beast. Soon, they distributed the work. Lan Luo was in charge of class 7 and above demonic beasts while anything lower than class 7 demonic beasts would be taken care by Shang Wan Linger and Chen Yun. With an earth path warrior soul, Shweda focused on defense, leaving Li Ling Tian to play it by ear. Li Ling Tian never once refuted and he merely kept a faint smile on his face. Amongst the lot, Li Ling Tian had the lowest cultivation level, even Shang Wan Ling's was a tier 4 warrior. Be careful, a first tier class 6 blue lion beast. The group had not traveled far when they came across a behemoth lion. Li Ling Tian was stunned. This lion, Covered in blue from head to toe was no different in appearance to the lion in his past life but it was much larger in size and it emitted an overpowering vicious aura. Chen Yun, I'll cover so you lure the blue lion beast for Shang Wan Linger to attack, Shweda raised his voice before he moved in a flash to pounce at the blue lion beast. 
As a gray ring materialized around him, a heavy earth path pressure was released. In the meantime, Chin Yun struck the blue lion beast with his faintly shimmering long sword. Roar! The blue lion beast let out a roar at these weak humans who dared attack it. Then, it threw its humongous body at Shweta, ignoring Chin Yun's sword completely. Cloud High Arrow During that time, Shang Wan Linger promptly completed a series of actions by bending her knees, stooping down, and widening her arms. A silver exquisite bow appeared in her left arm while her right arm pulled back to cast a silver arrow. The movement motioned fluidly in one go. Swoosh. Roar. A subtle sound whizzed through the air and a blood-curdling cry was heard almost simultaneously. With the silver arrow penetrating the blue lion beast's head, it breathed its last breath and collapsed onto the ground. Li Lingtian kept his shock under wraps at the group's flawless teamwork. Although it was only a first-tier class 6 demonic beast, its ability was comparable to a tier 6 warrior. He would not be able to defeat this blue lion beast alone. The blue lion beast could not put up a fight against this joint force, particularly towards Shangguan's arrow. Its impact was tremendous, highly destructive, and extremely fast. Similar to human warriors, demonic beasts were classified from first to ninth tier and each tier could be split into nine classes. A first-tier demonic beast was equal to a warrior while a second-tier demonic beast was comparable to a warrior spirit. However, demonic beasts were more capable than humans. If demonic beasts and humans of similar rank were put together, humans would have to go the other way. Hehe, he, a class 6 inner vital. The skin should also be worth some spiritual stones. Shweda stepped forward and retrieved the blue lion beast's inner vital with a knife. The inner vital that was the size of an infant's fist had a faint demonic stench on it. Seeing that Shweda was drawing materials from the class 6 demonic beast in no time, Li Lingtian nodded secretly. He was definitely a seasoned master in vanquishing demonic beasts. After taking care of the blue lion beast, the group swiftly made their departure to head further in. The materials of a blue lion beast were not enough to share among the party of five. As they ventured forward, they had to kill class 6 and 7 demonic beasts until they arrived 30 miles within the mountains. During those times, Li Lingtian had never once made a move. It was all the work of Shweda, Shang Wan Linger, and Chen Yun while Lan Luo kept his nose in the air, looking down on Li Lingtian and the rest. Li Lingtian never had the chance to prove himself but he did end up a porter. We have to stay alert now. The last demonic beast we killed was a class 7. The demonic beasts inside will be stronger. We'll stay around the border so don't go further in, out of good nature, Shweta reminded Li Lingtian. He did not hold Li Lingtian's tier 3 warrior cultivation in contempt. Moreover, Li Lingtian was only 14 or 15 years old and although he had an adolescent build, he was still a pubescent within the group. Roar! As if to prove Shweda's point, the loud bellow thumped hard on their eardrums. Stormy Flare Beast, First Tier Class 8 Shweda and the two others cried in shock. This Class 8 Stormy Flare Beast had the strength of a Class 9 and it would strike with rather valiant flame attacks. Humph, it's only a Class 8 Stormy Flare Beast, Lan Luo coldly blurted with a face of disdain. A class 8 stormy flare beast is comparable to a class 9 demonic beast. Now we'll have a good view of senior brother Lan Luo's prowess. Chen Yun smiled as he carefully studied Lan Luo's face. There was no assurance that they could kill a class 8 stormy flare beast, but they should be thanking their lucky stars if they could even escape. Don't we have senior brother Li Lingtian here? Did Shweta seek a person out just to divide our spoils? Lan Luo peered at Li Lingtian. Both of them were the only ones who had yet initiated a strike throughout the journey. He had a good reason for it because it was decided early on that class 7 and below demonic beasts were not within his job scope. However, Li Lingtian had stood aside the whole time. So, Lan Luo resorted to taking a heartless route and pushed Li Lingtian forward. 
since a tier 3 warrior stood no chance against a class 8 demonic beast, there would be one less person to share the inner vital. Senior Brother Lon Luo, Senior Brother Li is only a tier 3 warrior. How can he defeat the stormy flare beast? Aren't you sending him to his death? Shang Wan Linger was dumbstruck by Lan Luo's words. Her stiffened face said a lot about her distaste towards Lan Luo's actions. All right, leave it to me, Li Lingtian dully replied. Giving Lan Luo a cold stare and mysterious smile, Li Lingtian came forth in a flash. As he did not cultivate any motion skill, he moved at the speed of a warrior. Senior Brother Li, please hold your horses. Don't act on impulse, Shang Wan Linger shouted out loud at Li Ling Tian who had made his way to less than twenty yards away from the stormy flare beast. A tier three warrior was no match for a class eight demonic beast. She thought Li Ling Tian must have been ticked off by Lan Luo to be giving his life away. Let's go at it together. Be careful. Noticing that Li Ling Tian was ignoring them, Shueda and Chen Yun broke out in cold sweat. Though they were only a temporary party, Lan Luo's doing still aroused disgust. Hence, the duo swiftly went after Li Ling Tian. They should be able to keep the Stormy Flare Beast's single blow in check if they teamed up. However, it had never sprung to their minds that Li Ling Tian would stride with all his might and charge at the Stormy Flare Beast. Moving seven yards with each step, he took a nosedive towards the demonic beast. For a moment, Shweda and the rest were gobsmacked and baffled by Li Lingtian. Was he seeking a death wish? You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 6 Chapter 6 Do you have a death wish? Lan Luo glanced at Li Lingtian charging towards the stormy flare beast. Thinking that he had triggered Li Ling Tian, a cold grin appeared on his face. In his head, he could imagine Li Ling Tian being burnt to ashes by the stormy flare beast. Shang Wan Linger, Shue De, and Cheng Yun were all stunned. Flaming Divine Fist. Die. Naturally, Li Ling Tian could not care less about what those people behind him thought. In one swift motion, with his body still in the air, True Qi started to circulate throughout his entire body. The flaming True Qi was instantly raised to its capacity, right as his fist slammed down on his target. The air was filled with flaming Qi that consisted of the stormy flare beast's demonic Qi and the flaming True Qi that Li Ling Tian had just unleashed. Roar! The stormy flare beast was also shocked by this human in front of it. For a puny human, he was unleashing lethal levels of flaming chi. As a firepath demonic beast, it knew full well how threatening those flames were. With an ear-piercing roar, the flame-like demonic energy was gathered as it raised its huge claws to put up a guard in Li Lingtian's direction. Bam! Crack! 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 Boom! With a loud impact, the stormy flare beast absorbed the brunt of Li Lingtian's hit as his fist landed at the very top of the giant claws. Although Li Lingtian's body was deflected away, he landed lightly on his feet, with a grin still on his face. Instead, the giant stormy flare beast was sent flying with that one punch. Loud cracks could be heard as countless trees broke in half when the stormy flare beast's body crashed into them. It finally came to a stop as its body was slammed into a stone wall. During mid-flight, the beast was already at the brink of its demise. Its entire body looked like it had been completely charred, with the smell of roasted meat trailing in the air. Looking at what had just happened before their eyes, Shweda and company were completely in awe as they stared blankly at the stormy flare beast that was now a huge distance away. They could not comprehend what they had just witnessed. Who's the real demonic beast here? A human being stronger than a demonic beast. The group was understandably shocked. This was a level 8 stormy flare beast, with power that was equal to a level 9 demonic beast. Yet it was one shot by a tier 3 warrior's punch. Animals are just animals, Li Lingtian calmly uttered. 
he had used the flaming true chi in his body. Otherwise, he would not have been able to defeat the storming flare beast that easily. However, a demonic beast was still a demonic beast, anyone could easily kill them when they were off guard. If it was a human, naturally, they would not stand patiently to be attacked. Humph, it's just a tier 8 demonic beast. Lan Luo was also stunned by Li Lingtian's punch, but looking at Xue Da's and company's shocked expressions, he merely gave a cold snort. Never would I have thought that senior brother Li possessed such an amazing hidden talent. That punch just now was so awesome. Which one of you is the real demonic beast here? As Ching Yun and Shweda snapped out of their shock, they shook their heads. They had finally understood that this was not an illusion, it was reality. F asterisk CK off. When Li Ling Tian overheard Shweda comparing him to the demonic beast, he uttered those two words while his face was still in a grin, as always. Shweda and the rest knew that Li Ling Tian was joking. All this time, Li Ling Tian had been great company, so, of course, they knew that this guy would not be as cocky as Lan Luo. I'll F asterisk CK off to deal with Stormy Flare Beast. For future demonic beast hunts, with you here, even level 8 or level 9 demonic beasts would be a piece of cake. Shweda boldly exclaimed with a chuckle before he ran over towards the stormy flare beast. The four of them were having a blast, which was a stark contrast to Lan Luo who was absolutely livid. I'll be taking the stormy flare beast's inner vital. I'm a fire path warrior soul, learning the flaming divine fist. This inner vita will be perfect for me to absorb to increase my cultivation level. Li Ling Tian patiently waited for Shweta to process the stormy flare beast, which its inner vital and material were put into a sack after. This storage sack, though the size of a palm, could hold up to 140 cubic feet worth of items. Looking at the stormy flare beast's inner vital, Li Ling Tian pulled it out of the sack. He then glanced over to Shweta and the three others as he said calmly. No problem. The stormy flare beasts was killed by senior brother Li alone anyway. Besides, isn't it just an inner vital? Sure. But of course. Shweda and the two others answered without any hesitation as they nodded in agreement. Since Li Ling Tian was training in fire path techniques, getting his hands on the stormy flare beasts inner vital would naturally increase his cultivation level by quite a bit. No. A hostile voice rang out from Lan Luo's mouth. When it came to Li Ling Tian, he hated him to the bone. Not only did this guy steal his thunder and gave him a slap to his face, but Li Ling Tian was also about to obtain a level 8 demonic beast inner vital. Obviously, he would not stand for that. This stormy flare beast was killed by Senior Brother Li. Not to mention, Senior Brother Li is a fire path warrior soul, so it'll be perfect for him. It's just a level 8 inner vital, it's only worth one vitality pill. Shang Wan Linger turned around with a frown on her face as she objected seriously. Throughout this trip, Lan Luo had been treating Li Ling Tian with disrespect. He had even ordered Li Ling Tian to defeat a level 8 demonic beast alone. The last slither of respect for senior brother Lan Luo had long since been destroyed. You guys may agree with this piece of trash, but I don't. I'm the strongest one here. Seeing that Cheng Yun and Shang Wan Linger had too agreed to give Li Ling Tian the inner vital, Lan Luo was even more enraged. Alright, we'll decide how it'll be distributed when the time comes. As soon as Li Ling Tian said that, he tossed the inner vital back into the storage sack and continued on his way. Shweda and the others stared at Li Ling Tian with utter confusion. Li Ling Tian might be a tier 3 warrior but he had just destroyed a level 8 demonic beast with a single punch, he should not be afraid of Lan Luo. However, they did not want to overthink it, so they hurried along. After that, they did not encounter any strong demonic beasts again as they were all level 5 and level 6 demonic beasts. However, Li Ling Tian did not strike again and Lan Luo still had yet attacked any demonic beasts. Within half a day, the group had managed to kill more than 30 level 5 and level 6 demonic beasts. 
It was quite the bountiful expedition. This is bad. There aren't any demonic beast tracks within these couple of miles, so there must be a big demonic beast up ahead. Shweta had a bitter smile on his face. Based on his demonic beast hunting experience, seeing the position they were in right now, he knew that they were up against a great demonic beast. It's a level 9 demonic beast. Li Ling Tian revealed a serious expression. Due to the merging of the warrior souls of his two lifetimes, his divine mindfulness was more than doubled the average human. Within his divine mindfulness effective range, a pitch black demonic beast stood more than a thousand feet ahead of them. A level 9 demonic beast? That's equivalent to a tier 9 peak warrior. Where is it? Behind that boulder. It's definitely a demonic beast, but I'm not sure what level it is. Shweta was extremely terrified. Amongst this group of five, they were all tier 7 warriors or lower in terms of cultivation levels. They could still defeat a level 8 demonic beast, but if they were up against a level 9, they would have no other option than to run. Other than Li Ling Tian, only Ching Yun's capabilities were better honed. His divine mindfulness had noticed the demonic beast behind the boulder. However, due to the limitations of his divine mindfulness potency, he too was unable to confirm what level the monster was on. Lan Luo rolled his eyes at Li Lingtuan. It was impossible for a tier 3 warrior to have a divine mindfulness that powerful. Even with his tier 7 cultivation level, he could not discover anything. He was sure that Li Ling Tian was making it up. Huff. Huff. The sound of something huffing could be heard from behind the boulder. A moment later, a twenty feet wide, ten feet tall demonic beast entered their vision as its two giant eyes glowed with a red glint. It's a level nine human devouring beast. One. This is bad. Run. As soon as Shweda saw the human devouring beast, his expression changed. It looked like he had just seen a ghost. The other people might not know how terrifying the human devouring beast was, but he knew all too well. He had once witnessed a level 9 human devouring beast swallow two whole tier 8 warriors. Roar! The human devouring beast opened up its huge blood red mouth as it charged towards the group, like a starved animal seeing food. The stench of its chi was so disgusting that Li Ling Tian almost gagged. Lan Luo, didn't you say you were the strongest one here? Why haven't you done anything so far? Are you here just to divide our spoils? Li Ling Tian did not show any signs of fear. Instead, he continued to stare at Lan Luo and disregarded the human devouring beast's presence. Why you? If you're not leaving, I'm leaving. Bam! Upon hearing those words come out from Li Ling Tian's mouth, Lan Luo's face turned bright red. Those were the exact words he had told Li Ling Tian earlier in the day. Now, it was served back at his face. As he looked at the human devouring beast that was charging towards them, he steeled his resolve. Raising one hand, he slammed Shang Wan Linger on her back and her body immediately flew towards the human devouring beast at a rapid speed. D asterisk MNU Seeing as Lan Luo had pushed a fellow disciple into the mouth of a human devouring beast as a means to escape, Shweda, Ching Yun, and Li Lingtuan were absolutely pissed. It's over. Shang Wan Linger never would have expected that Lan Luo would use her in this way. When she saw the big and bloody red mouth, she thought that it was over for her. In that one moment, her skin turned pale white. Do you have a death wish? In a flash, Li Lingtian's body moved as he lunged towards Shang Wan Linger, knocking her away. The two rolled around for several feet before they finally came to a stop. He had saved Shang Wan Linger from the brink of getting swallowed by the human devouring beast. Roar! Seeing its food snatched away from him, the human devouring beast roared out angrily. However, its body showed no sign of stopping as it continued to charge straight ahead with its strong forward momentum. Ack! A loud shriek of agony rang out. One of Lan Luo's legs was now trapped within the jaws of the human devouring beast and his face turned pale. Rock explosion! 
Green Edge Sword. 1. Flaming Divine Fist. At this time, Ching Yun, Xue De, and Li Ling Tian attacked all at once, unleashing their strongest attacks on the beast. Since the human devouring beast was still focused on chewing on Lan Luo, the three of them did not have to think about defense at all. If they did not go all out now, they might not have the chance in the future. Boom! Crack! Roar! The rock explosion and Li Lingtian's flaming divine fist had hit the human devouring beast right in its body while Ching Yun's green edge sword had also managed to slash through the beast. In this attack, the three had put their all. Although the human devouring beast was a level 9 demonic beast, without any defenses, it was ruthlessly knocked away. The three had attacked it so hard that parts of its flesh ruptured, it was overkill. Arg, my leg. Lan Luo rolled around on the ground in agony. One of his legs was ripped clean off and fresh blood started to pour out from his wound. His consciousness was also starting to fade. Let's go. Li Ling Tian took one look at Lan Luo before he said that. This person was a scum. Not only did he mock him during this entire expedition, but he even sent his own party member to her death just so he could escape. He was the worst of the worst. Neither did Shweda and the others have any intentions to save Lan Luo. They hated this bastard all the way down to his bones. In fact, it should be considered an act of mercy that they did not kill him. Please save me. Once I return, I'll definitely give you an amazing reward. Seeing as his party was about to leave, he knew he was being abandoned. With his current injuries, even if the other warriors did not kill him, he would still wind up eaten by demonic beasts. Humph. B asterisk TCH, how dare you still ask us to save you? Li Ling Tian coldly spat as he continued to walk away. However, he stopped before he had barely taken a few steps. If I die here, you can bet that you'll never live a good life. My older brother is a genius that is a tier 9 peak warrior. Baha. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 7 Chapter 7 a genius that is a tier 9 peak warrior. Li Ling Tian stopped in his tracks and his grin grew wider. Even at the brink of death, this bastard was still threatening them. Senior brother Li, he's unfortunately right. Lan Hai is a genius disciple who is ranked 9th in the outer sect, he's a tier 9 peak warrior. If Lan Luo dies here, we will not be able to escape unscathed. That's right, Lan Hai is a genius that's ranked ninth in the outer sect, one of the few geniuses who are the most likely to become a warrior soul powerhouse. Xue De and Ching Yun's faces were serious. Although they were outer sect disciples, the competition between disciples in the outer sect was still far more intense than that of the peripheral disciples. As for a tier 9 peak warrior expert, they did not have the guts to anger him. They looked over at Li Ling Tian while they spoke. Hee hee, you better come and treat my leg quickly. If I get mad, it'll be a death sentence to all of you. Upon hearing Ching Yun and Xue Da's words, Lan Luo's arrogant demeanor returned. As if he had forgotten that his leg was ripped off, he was back to his old cocky self. Yeah. Li Ling Tian nodded as he walked back towards Lan Luo. Xue De and company looked at Li Ling Tian in confusion, but since he had decided to save Lan Luo, they could finally breathe a sigh of relief. At least they would not have to be killed by Lan Hai when the time came. Shang Wan Linger frowned slightly. She might be afraid of Lan Hai, but this Lan Luo had almost killed her. If it was not for Li Ling Tian, she would have become the human devouring beast's food. In the future, follow me obediently. Be my slave and you might get some benefits out of it. Seeing that Li Ling Tian was walking towards him, Lan Luo could not help but give him a look of despise. He steeled through the pain as he smirked evilly. If Li Ling Tian did not push Shang Wan Linger out of the way, the human devouring beast would not have injured him. Die! 
Li Ling Tian raised a single hand before he used his flaming divine fist and slammed it down at Lan Luo. Boom! With a loud explosion, the ground was completely charred and a huge crater appeared on the ground. At that point, Lan Luo had already been slammed into oblivion. Shweda and the other two stared blankly at Li Ling Tian. Li Ling Tian did not walk over to save Lan Luo, but he went there to smite him instead. What were they supposed to do now? Since Li Ling Tian had killed Lan Luo, Lan Hai would never forgive them now. Idiot! Li Ling Tian pulled Lan Luo out of the crater. This person had long been dead by the hands of Li Lingtian's flaming divine fist and his entire body seemed like it had been charred. After grabbing the storage sack, he turned around and walked over towards Shweda and company. Killing Lan Luo is on me, this has nothing to do with you guys. Isn't it only a tier 9 warrior? Li Lingtian looked at Shweda as he said in a serious tone. A tier 9 warrior might be strong but as long as he could increase his cultivation level quickly, there was no need to fear a mere tier 9 warrior. Count me in. Count me in. With all of us together, I doubt that Lan Hai can kill all of us at once. Besides, when we're inside the sect, no one would attempt to kill us. Seeing that Li Ling Tian had put all the responsibility on himself, Shweda and Cheng Yun were stunned. For a young man who was barely 15 years old, how could he have such guts? In fact, they were extremely impressed. Shang Wan Linger also stepped up. If it was not for Li Ling Tian, she would have long been dead. We can talk about this more when the time comes. Let's just kill a few more demonic beasts and head back. It'll be bad if we don't return by nightfall. Li Ling Tian looked at the three of them with a sense of satisfaction before he changed the topic. Never would he have thought that he would meet three people like this in this dog-eat-dog -dog world. Following that, the four of them continued to kill demonic beasts as they made their way back towards the sect. Spending the night in the Sky Mountains was not a smart choice. Li Ling Tian did not do much at the start of this expedition, but since the Stormy Flare Beast, he was the one who had been killing the demonic beasts. No matter level 5 or level 8, all the demonic beasts that encountered them had met their doom within a single hit. With that in mind, Shweda and the others shook their heads. They could not help but feel a sense of adulation for this team. He was calm, decisive, and did everything perfectly. He was nothing like the average 15-year-old brat, but rather, he felt more like an expert veteran that was dozens of years old. You guys can head back first, I'll stay here for the night. I want to hunt more demonic beasts tomorrow before I head back. As soon as the sun started to set, Li Ling Tian told his three friends. Immediately after, he pulled out the storage sack and started to divide the inner vital and materials. Within this day, the four had managed to obtain sixteen inner vitals each. Li Ling Tian also took the stormy flare beast's inner vital, taking one extra than the other three. As for the remaining materials, Shweda would trade them for pills. When that was done, they would just divide the pills. The three advised against Li Lingtian's plan, asking him to follow them back and come back the next day instead. However, Li Lingtian stubbornly said that he wanted to stay and the three did not pursue further. With that, they quickly left the mountains, heading towards the direction of the sect. As night fell, Li Ling Tian found himself a nice hollow tree to take refuge for the night. The trees within the Sky Mountains were several thousands of feet tall and every single one of them could house several people. With a single person inside, it was almost as if he had entered a sea of vastness. In a mountain range dominated by countless demonic beasts, finding a safe place was an absolute necessity. After Shweda and the others had left, he continued to kill off six more level six demonic beasts. In his mind, he was feeling quite satisfied with his flaming divine fist. Inside the hollow tree, he opened up Lan Luo's storage sack to see if there were any goodies inside. There were twenty mediocre spiritual stones, a tablet, a jade bottle, and also a tome for a moderate amber tier motion skill. 
Seeing these items, Li Lingtian did not hesitate to take all the spiritual stones and toss them into his storage sack. As for the tablet, it was just the Paisi. One, that the outer sect disciples had. Three vitality pills, not bad. Looking at the three pills inside the jade bottle, Li Lingtian was smiling from ear to ear. After all, vitality pills were pills needed by the sky cloud sect disciples. After conversion, every one of these pills would give one true qi that was equivalent to five days of harsh training. For an average inner sect disciple, they could probably obtain one vitality pill every month. Yet for a tier 7 disciple like Lan Luo, the ability to save up to three vitality pills was quite the feat. As for the moderate amber level motion skill, Li Lingtian simply looked at it before he started to learn it. However, it was only a moderate amber level skill. Based on his knowledge from the 21st century and the combined experience of his two souls, he could figure out most of the mysterious techniques of this world with a single glance. His mind's clarity and processing power was something that no warrior in this world could ever mimic. After a short moment, he had managed to learn this motion technique. Since it was merely a moderate amber level skill, he could understand it in 20 minutes. Whoosh! His body disappeared as he lunged downwards. Then, as he circulated his true chi, he unleashed the breeze technique which caused his body to speed through the woods, weaving and zipping past the countless huge trees. In the pitch black forest, the dense tree branches had completely blocked out the sky. It prevented any moonlight or starlight from entering the forest, so only a semblance of a pale white silhouette could be seen zooming through the woods. As expected, the breeze technique isn't that simple. It makes the body move as if it was a breeze. Once I have managed to train it to fruition, it would probably allow me to move around without a trace. Li Lingtian suddenly stopped in his tracks as a smile formed on his face. In a flash, he zoomed back towards the hollow tree he found as his body once again disappeared. I've broken through to become a tier 4 warrior. Inside the hollow tree, Li Lingtian ingested a vitality pill. Instantly, the true qi in his body swelled up, rapidly reaching the peak of a tier 3 warrior. In the end, he had also used his flaming true qi directly to absorb the stormy flare beast's inner vital. Directly absorbing a level 8 beast's inner vital could be dangerous, but after Li Lingtian had been through the grueling training at the bottomless flaming abyss and the immemorial ice crystal, he was no longer afraid of this level 8 inner vital. The level 8 stormy flare beast's inner vital was as strong as he had imagined. Beads of sweat started to roll down Li Lingtian's forehead, nearly drenching his entire face as it turned pale white. Finally, he had managed to break through the tier 3 peak as a warrior and successfully became a tier 4 warrior. As true chi was pumped throughout his body, the immense strength he wielded made him immeasurably excited. I can finally train more. After breaking through, he was filled with confidence. Although it was rather dangerous to be in the mountain range at night, the spiritual energy concentration here was at its peak from night to dawn, which was the true reason he wanted to stay behind. As spiritual qi enveloped Li Lingtian, he took a deep breath with his nose and absorbed the pure spiritual qi into his body. His heaven and earth reincarnation technique circulated the energy rapidly before converting the spiritual qi into true qi. As time passed, second by second, the growling of the demonic beasts deep within the woods became increasingly louder. It was almost as if he had entered a monster's den. Suddenly, Li Lingtian heard something. He quickly absorbed the spiritual energy around him before he started to suppress his own vigor. Crack. TCH, TCH, TCH. As the soft sound entered Li Lingtian's ears, Based on his potent divine mindfulness, he knew that this sound came from within a thousand feet radius away from him. Yet, he also knew that this was not a sound made by a demonic beast. This was obviously the footsteps of a human warrior, one that had quite a high cultivation level. It was almost as if it was the motion skill he had seen on television in his past life, where martial artists walked through snow without leaving any traces. 
Instead, this person was speeding through the woods almost as naturally as a leopard cat. It's an injured powerhouse. Li Ling Tian thought to himself as he quickly suppressed his divine mindfulness. If more of his divine mindfulness leaked out, he would definitely be discovered by the other party. In the middle of a mountain range like this, it was a perfect place to commit a murder. PFFTTT Yan Chongxiao hacked out some blood as he steadied himself on a tree before he slowly sat down. After all that hard work to get an amazing treasure, he had been discovered and was now pursued. His luck could not be any worse. At this point, as long as he could reach the sect, he would be safe. Russell, Russell. Whoosh, whoosh. As the sounds of men zooming through the air broke the silence, a group of people flew straight towards him. In fact, there were around seven or eight people within the said group. Li Ling Tian realized that the injured warrior was resting right underneath the tree that he had chosen. Feeling extremely troubled by that fact, he did not dare to move an inch because even the slightest movement right now could lead to his demise. Yang Chongxiao, hand over the ice and fire ring. Maybe then, we'll spare your corpse. With some sort of instantaneous technique, the seven warriors in black appeared at about sixty feet in front of Yang Chongxiao. They had surrounded him completely, in case he tried to escape. Humph. Bai Yunha, don't you feel any shame? I was the one who found this ice and fire ring. Besides, you're only a tier 1 warrior spirit and I'm a tier 3 warrior spirit, do you think you stand a chance? Yang Chongxiao glared coldly at the man in black who was leading the pack. Yang Chongxiao was a tier 3 warrior spirit whereas his opponent was only a tier 1 warrior spirit, even though there were 6 other tier 7 and tier 8 warrior powerhouses on the opponent's side. Yang Chongxiao, while it's true that you were the one who found the ice and fire ring, but treasures like this belong to the strong. You, a tier 3 warrior spirit, have massacred nine of our rosy cloud set warrior disciples, but it looks like you have also suffered quite a few injuries along the way as well, ha. Yeah. Looking at Yang Chongxiao who was leaning against the tree, Bai Yunha mocked coldly. In order to get their hands on this treasure, they had sacrificed quite a few of their sect's genius disciples to stall out Yang Chongxiao. Once a warrior had their hands on that treasure, their potential would increase exponentially. What were a few sect disciples' lives worth in exchange for that? If you want this treasure, then take it. Seeing this group in front of him, Yang Chongxiao felt that there was no way he could escape from this today. If it was any other day, a tier 1 warrior spirit would be nothing to him, but not in his current predicament. Reaching one hand out, a palm-sized light ring appeared in his hand. The light ring glowed red and blue as it was enveloped with a concentrated mixture of ice and fire path chi. Chili chi and flaming chi started to gather within a hundred feet radius of the ring. As the two types of chi mixed, it gave off a weird sort of chi that felt like death to everyone in the area. Ice and fire ring. Ha! <laughs> As Yang Chongxiao pulled out the ice and fire ring, Bai Yunha's face lit up with avarice. This treasure was, at the very least, a piece of top-grade spiritual equipment. Now, the lives of those disciples he had sacrificed would not be in vain. However, Yang Chongxiao's next move left everyone shocked. At the same time, it scared Li Ling Tian, who was hiding above in the hollow tree as this was all happening, to death. Yang Chongxiao kept the ice and fire ring away before he tossed the entire storage sack into the air and straight into the opening of the hollow tree that Li Ling Tian was hiding in. All seven of the warriors in black stared straight at the storage bag, especially since the ice and fire ring was still inside it. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 8 Chapter 8 It's your lucky day. If you ever become a warrior king, massacre the entire rosy close sect. Yang Chongxiao loudly exclaimed. Then, all the true qi in his body started to circulate at maximum capacity. Suddenly, it looked as if he was not injured at all as his qi reached that of a tier 3 peak warrior spirit. 
At that point, even the air was starting to get twisted up. Therein lies the fearsome strength of a warrior spirit powerhouse, where a single action could whip up a literal storm. Li Ling Tian was utterly shocked at the sight that the storage sack had flown right towards him. Was that not a death sentence for him? Here he was, hiding in this tree thinking that no one would notice him. Yet, in reality, this warrior spirit powerhouse had long since discovered him. So you have an accomplice. Kill them all. Bai Yunha was also stunned, but as he used his divine mindfulness to scan the tree, he could only notice a weak chi source. Realizing that it was only a low-tier warrior disciple, he breathed out a sigh of relief. Boom! Thousand Shadow Spear. Kill. True Qi swelled up all over Yang Chongxiao's body as a ten-feet spear shot out his hands, propelling a ray of intense Qi towards all seven of his attackers. One after another, countless giant trees were broken. As Li Ling Tian witnessed this, he was simply shocked by how terrifyingly strong this attack was, this was a real powerhouse. This is bad. Yang Chongxiao has just unleashed his bloodthirst ultimate technique. Be careful. He can only last ten seconds. Bai Yunha was petrified. Yang Chongxiao was at the brink of his death since he had no energy left to engage in combat. However, seeing how strong he had now become, he must have unleashed some sort of secret technique that burned through the true qi and blood essence in his body to force his body to function at peak performance. Why aren't you running? Remember, massacre the entire Rosy Close sect. Boom. Crack. Whoosh. The spear in Yang Chongxiao's hand emitted an intense destructive qi. As rays of light shined down on the now open woods, his face was flushed red. It was obvious that he could not hold it for much longer. His heart was kicking it in overdrive as he swung his spear around, ruthlessly hitting the tree that Li Ling Tian was hiding in. Suddenly, the tree was snapped in half and Li Ling Tian was finally snapped out of his dazed state. There was no longer any time left to hesitate. In a flash, his body sipped through the woods and left. If he did not leave now, he would not have the chance to do so anymore. Boom! As cries of agony rang out from behind him, Countless huge trees fell and the ground started to rumble. This was a battle between warrior spirit powerhouses and it was earth-shattering. Whoosh! The sounds of something flying through the sky behind him pierced his eardrums. Upon noticing this, Li Ling Tian immediately stopped, dropped, and rolled, narrowly avoiding a lethal strike. Die! Countless fierce roars blared out through the woods as this tier 3 warrior spirit powerhouse burned through his life to continue fighting. On the other hand, the seven warriors in black continued to die. In the blink of an eye, six of the tier 7 and tier 8 warriors had all died, leaving Bai Yunha alone as he struggled to survive. Boom! When an ear-piercing explosion rang out, the ground rumbled again before it finally calmed down. Using his newly acquired breeze technique, Li Ling Tian had already sped through the woods and was now thousands of feet away. D asterisk MN. D asterisk MN. Bai Yunha looked at his arm that had been broken by the spear, as well as the six dead warrior disciples, he was utterly enraged. After paying such a steep cost, it had only benefited some random stranger. Uncle Master. It was at that moment where dozens of Tier 7 and Tier 8 warriors ran over and positioned themselves behind Bai Yunha. Looking at the wreckage in front of them, their faces were all filled with fear. Take them away, and bring Yang Chongxiao too. We can't afford to anger the Sky Cloud sect at this moment. The treasure has been taken away, go chase after it. Don't let him leave this mountain range. We have to get that treasure. Bai Yunha's was extremely dark as he looked down at the six warrior disciples and Yang Chongxiao. Although Yang Chongxiao was not a Cloud Sky Sect disciple, this place was still Sky Cloud Sect's territory. They could not allow Cloud Sky Sect to know the details of what had happened here tonight. Then, with a wave of his hand, he led the pack into chase after the target as they zoomed towards Li Lingtian's direction. 
F asterisk CK, what kind of luck is this? Li Ling Tian did not dare to stop for a second. A warrior soul powerhouse was not an existence that could be trifled with. If they caught him, he would be dead. As he thought back at the domineering power of a tier 3 warrior spirit, Li Ling Tian was extremely envious. That was a powerhouse which an average warrior could not even compare. Rosy Cloud Sect, I haven't heard of it before. What is this trash? It almost cost me my life. Li Ling Tian grabbed onto the storage sack in his hand as he continued to escape. In his head, he was actually quite thankful for this because he would not have been able to master the breeze technique otherwise. He had to fully master this breeze technique within just half an hour, or he would be killed. Where is this place? I'm like a headless chicken at this point. Did I go the wrong way? It was his first time on a demonic beast hunt, so he was still not familiar with this place yet. Furthermore, it was in the middle of the night where everything was pitch black. There was no way for him to make out the directions. Hmm. The Big Dipper. Ah, uh, I did go the wrong way. Suddenly, he saw the stars in the sky. Based on his knowledge from his past life, he knew how to make out directions by using constellations in the sky. As it turned out, he did go the wrong way. However, he could not afford to turn around at this point. If he turned around now, he would definitely encounter his pursuers. Let's wait, at least until the day breaks. Li Ling Tian reoriented himself. Although he could not turn back now, he could start making a detour and slowly inch himself back towards the Sky Cloud Sect. As soon as daybreak arrived and the Sky Cloud Sect disciples came out to train, the Rosy Cloud Sect would no longer dare to continue to pursue a Cloud Sky Sect disciple. With that in mind, he breathed a small sigh of relief as he used his divine mindfulness to scan his rear. Ignorance is bliss. A tier 8 warrior was rapidly approaching him at a miraculous speed. It looked as if this warrior had focused his training on motion skills. If not, he would not have been able to catch up to him so quickly. With a flick of his body, he leaped up onto the tree whilst he circulated true chi throughout his body. He was waiting for the right time to strike. Flaming Divine Fist. Die. Within five seconds, this tier 8 warrior had arrived at the place where Li Ling Tian was hiding. However, Li Ling Tian's chi had suddenly disappeared. Frowning, he looked down at a disc on his hand. Precisely at that time, a destructive flaming power rained down from above. Hurricane Strike. Zhou Yun was shocked as he could feel the destructive flaming power coming straight at him. Circulating the true chi within his body, he unleashed the strongest attack up the Wind Path Warrior Soul's arsenal before he recklessly slammed his fists into the sky towards the flames. Boom! PTSCH. Blood sprayed out into the air as his body was ruthlessly slammed into the ground. The entire corpse had been charred black. Tier 8 Warrior. 1. More like an idiot. As Li Ling Tian descended from above, he shrugged as he looked in disgust at the tier 8 warrior who had been slammed six feet under. He had quite a bit of potential in terms of cultivation level, but he had no brains at all. After he uttered that one-liner, he quickly grabbed the storage sack and the disc while he was at it. He finally understood it when he had a good look at it the moment that warrior had lost track of his chi. Now that he thought about it, judging by how his pursuers were chasing him, their routing was extremely precise. They must be relying on some sort of mysterious connection or scheme. Otherwise, in a forest as huge as this, finding a single person here would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Whoosh! Whoosh! Less ten seconds after Li Ling Tian had left, two silhouettes appeared in front of Zhou Yun's corpse. Their hearts sank. A tier eight warrior had just died in a single hit. Senior Brother Qi, do we continue chasing? As Xiang Tian looked at the pitiful state of Zhou Yun's corpse, he shuddered. A tier 8 warrior had died just like that. Since he was also a tier 7 warrior, continuing chasing the target would be a death wish. 
Do you want to end up like junior brother Zhou? Qi Xiao hesitated a little before he answered coldly. With a risk like that, who would dare to continue on so carefreely? They did not know what their target's cultivation level was, but even if they did know, they were still afraid of ending up like junior brother Zhou. Soon, seven or eight more warriors arrived in front of Zhou Yun's body. When they saw what had happened, they were all terrified. F asterisk CK. This storage sack has been rigged by the Rosy Cloud sect people. After Li Ling Tian had killed Zhou Yun, he continued to run for another few miles. As he was running, he investigated the disc in his hand before he realized that the red arrow on the disc would always point towards the direction of wherever the storage sack was. As soon as he realized, he quickly transferred the item into his storage sect and tossed Yang Chongxiao's storage sack away. In a flash, he started to run in a different direction than the storage sack. After running the entire night, the sun had started to rise and his pursuers behind him had also stopped their chase. In terms of direction, he was getting closer and closer to the sky cloud sect. Moreover, after such a night, his entire body was exhausted. His clothes were tattered beyond belief, which caused him to look no different than a hobo on the street. Damn! What happened here? When Bai Yinha's posse arrived at Yang Chengxiao's storage sack, it was empty. So much that they could not even find a single hair in it. Uncle Master, that thief is quite the slippery one. He has somehow noticed that there's a mark on the storage sack and abandoned it here. We can no longer trace his tracks. Zhong Lan looked at the enraged Bai Yunha, trembling while he reported his findings. The other disciples were so scared that they could not even utter a single word. Disperse for now. This is the Sky Cloud Sex territory, we'll monitor it in secret. We have to find that treasure. Bai Yunha looked in the Sky Cloud Sex direction. The Sky Cloud Sect was one of the big four sects. If it was not necessary, they could not afford to challenge the Sky Cloud Sect. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 9 Chapter 9 The Qi in the morning was extremely fresh, but it was also the time when spiritual QI was at its lowest. By that time, Li Ling Tian had found a safe place to change out of his clothes and burned up the tattered clothes. He then strode confidently towards the sex gates. Seeing that countless disciples had already started to train, a smile popped up on his face. Within half an hour, he was back in his room and after entering it, he could finally relax. This past night had given him too many shocks. He could not help but think about the power of a warrior spirit powerhouse and how pitiful he was being chased around. If he was a warrior spirit powerhouse, he definitely would not have been pursued like that. However, he remembered that there were tiers even higher than warrior spirit. So, he set a goal in his head, swearing that he would one day dominate the world's powerhouses and control his fate in his hands. He sat down cross-legged. The running he did the entire night had left him empty on true chi. After an hour of rest, when his true chi had returned to the maximum capacity of a tier 4 warrior, his entire being felt rejuvenated. 47 inner vitals, that should be enough to get some pills. Now that he was well rested, he started to clear out his spoils from the night. In Yang Chongxiao's storage sack, he had found 10 tier 9 inner vitals. Adding them to the ones he found in Zhou Yun's storage sack, it tallied up to a total of 47. In addition to that, he had also found two bottles of pills that consisted of five spirit binding pills and eight vitality pills. Vitality pills were grade one pills that could be used by all warriors. However, the spirit binding pills were grade two pills in which only warrior spirit powerhouses could use them. If a warrior powerhouse used them, its potency would be extremely strong, but an average warrior would not dare to try it unless they were a tier 9 peak warrior. Even then, they would only use it in hopes of breaking through their boundaries. Other than the pills, there were more than 200 mediocre spiritual stones and more importantly, the ice and fire ring as well as a skill tome. 
There was also a strange jade slip. The ice and fire ring had nearly cost him his life. It had even caused countless people to fight over it and hunt it down. Yet, he had no clue what kind of treasure it really was. It's an inferior onyx tier ice vitality divine fist tome. Yep, it's worth it. Li Ling Tian then ignored the ice and fire ring and took a look at this skill tome. After realizing what it was, he was ecstatic. Without even looking at the utility of this technique, just the tier of this tome was worth the effort. In the Sky Cloud sect, only the genius inner sect disciples would have a chance to come in contact with an inferior onyx tier skill tome. Outer sect disciples could not even dream of it. In addition to that, this skill, the Ice Vitality Divine Fist was perfect for him. Although he had not mastered the Ice Vitality Warrior Soul and the Immemorial Ice Crystal, training this Ice Vitality Divine Fist would help enhance his Ice Vitality Warrior Soul by balancing out the Fire Dragon's heart. Although it was quite a dangerous journey, it was definitely worth it. Not only did he acquire this skill tome, but he had also gotten his hands on a treasure as well as quite a few pills and spiritual stones. It was as if a golden egg had fallen into his lap, except that this golden egg had nearly crushed him in the head. Over the next few days, Li Ling Tian did not leave his room. Instead, he trained with his heaven and earth reincarnation technique in the morning and the flaming divine fist and ice vitality divine fist at night. If the other people had seen him training skills that were of the opposites, their jaws would definitely drop. However, that was reality. Not only did he manage to learn it, but he was stronger from it too. After five days and after he had used up all eight vitality pills, he had become a tier 5 warrior. That's the advantage of training with pills. Funnily enough, he had started to treat these pills like candy. Outer sect disciples could only get a single vitality pill every month, but he had used up eight of them in just five days. The Ice Vitality Divine Fist can only be trained up till completion. Looks like it's time to exchange some inner vitals. Within five days, he had managed to learn the Ice Vitality Divine Fist. With a single punch, everything within a 50 feet radius would turn into icicles. The chilling winds it emitted was not just threatening, but it could also slow the enemy down. However, he had never unleashed it before because every time he tried to unleash the Ice Vitality Fist, he had to utilize the Immemorial Ice Crystal. The Immemorial Ice Crystal's potency was terrifyingly powerful and he could not control it at all. Unless it was absolutely necessary, he would most likely not use the Ice Vitality Divine Fist. Although he had run out of pills, he felt that using the Soul Binding Pills at this point would be a waste. He should wait until he was at least a tier 7 warrior before he used it, but he still possessed inner vitals and spiritual stones. Senior Brotherly, I've finally found you. As soon as Li Ling Tian entered the outer sect, a sweet voice rang out and surprised Li Ling Tian. In the Sky Cloud sect, he did not have many acquaintances, much less girls. When he turned around, a slight smile appeared on his face. It was Shang Wan Linger, Cheng Yun, and Shueda. Senior Brotherly, we haven't seen you for days. You didn't go out to hunt demonic beasts, right? Shweda asked loudly. Although Shweda was a tier 5 warrior, calling someone a senior brother was a matter etiquette. No one would call someone a junior brother unless they were familiar with each other. I've spent the past couple of days training, so no, I didn't go hunting demonic beasts. Li Ling Tian nodded. Over the past few days, there was no way he could have easily entered the mountain range. If he was spotted by his pursuers, it would be a lot of trouble. These are the pills exchanged from the last time. The materials were worth 14 vitality pills. We have divvied it up amongst us four, so here's your five. Shweda handed five pills over to Li Ling Tian, smiling sincerely as he did so. Why do I get five? Li Ling Tian was shocked. You were the one who did the most work. Anyway, you'll need more vitality pills to raise your cultivation level. Your cultivation level. You're already a tier 5 warrior. How? 
Are you a prodigy? How did you do it? Shweta handed the pills over to Li Lingtian. Li Lingtian did the most work on their last expedition. Besides, he had also offered to take responsibility for the incident with Lan Luo by himself. Shweta was utterly impressed with this senior brother. When the topic of Li Lingtian's cultivation level was brought up, Shweta suddenly realized that he could no longer see the boundary of Li Lingtian's cultivation. Just a few days ago, Li Lingtian was a tier 3 warrior, that, he could clearly make out. However, at this point in time, he could no longer see it. The only thing he could tell was that Li Lingtian's cultivation level was higher than his, or at the very least, equal to him. Even if it was equal to his cultivation level, that would mean that Li Lingtian had gone up two tiers within the past few days. Isn't it just going up two tiers? Li Lingtian calmly said, not knowing that this line sent shockwaves down these people's minds. After becoming a warrior, disciples would usually take a couple of years on average to go up a single tier, where some even stagnate for years. However, Li Lingtian seemed to make it sound like it was easy. Isn't it just two tiers? Are you trolling us? How many days has it been since we last met and you've already gone up two tiers? Going from a tier 3 warrior to a tier 5 warrior took me two whole years. Shweta looked like his mind was blown. Going up two tiers by training for two days truly frustrated him to no end when he compared that to himself. Ching Yun and Shang Wan Linger were also speechless. How could those so called geniuses continue to survive after hearing this? I still have some inner vitals, so I'm going to exchange it with some pills. What about you guys? Li Lingtian smiled as he asked the three of them. We just came from there, so you go ahead. We'll wait for you here. Shweda helplessly shook his head. Then, Li Lingtian turned around and headed towards the welfare chamber. Welfare chamber. The welfare chamber was a place for the sex disciples to receive welfare, and it was also the place to take up quests. The average disciples would come here with the herbs and inner vitals that they had obtained and trade them in exchange for spiritual stones or pills. When Li Lindian arrived, there were barely any people there. So, within five minutes, it was already his turn. Herbs or inner vitals? The tier 7 warrior inside the welfare chamber calmly said without looking at Li Lingtian. In fact, he was minding his own stuff. For a tier 5 warrior disciple to come here alone, they definitely would not have brought in any good inner vitals and herbs. Trading in inner vitals and materials for spiritual stones and pills. Li Lingtian smiled as he pulled out his storage sack and tossed it over to the warrior who was working. Ha! Huh. The warrior looked arrogantly at Li Lingtian's storage sack. As his divine mindfulness scanned the storage sack, his facial expressions changed instantly. There are so many superior inner vitals and materials. The warrior took a big gulp of air, looking extremely surprised. This tier 5 warrior disciple had somehow managed to get his hands on so many materials and inner vitals in which all of them were of superior quality. I'll take 50 vitality pills and have the remaining in spiritual stones. Li Lingtian calmly said. He knew perfectly well how many materials and inner vitals were in his storage sack. Furthermore, he had a card with him that listed the conversion rates for the various levels of inner vitals. Naturally, he was not afraid that he would be scammed out of his goods. Here's 50 vitality pills and 560 spiritual stones. The warrior's gaze towards Li Lingtian was now much softer. It did not matter how these inner vitals had come about, he was not someone to be trifled with. Soon, the inner vitals and materials were cleared out as 50 vitality pills and 560 spiritual stones were placed in front of Li Lingtian. After exchanging the pills, Li Lingtian walked straight out. However, by the time he saw Shweda and company, a cold expression showed on his face. His gaze was extremely cold. Today, the three of your lives shall become a sacrifice to Lan Luo. Lan Hai's icy cold stare was locked onto the three of them and his body was emitting an immense chi. Humph. Lan Luo had a death wish, you can't blame us for anything. 
We're still in the Sky Cloud sect, you better not forget the rules of our sect. Staring at this youth in front of them, Shweda and Shang Guang Linger put on a serious expression. This was the genius tier 9 peak warrior. In the outer sect, he was an existence that ranked ninth. Unless you don't plan on leaving the Sky Cloud sect. In fact, even if I don't kill you, I can just cripple all the three of your cultivations. Do you think the Sky Cloud Guild would punish me for that? Idiots! Lon Hai glared at the three of them. The Sky Cloud sect's rules strictly prohibited disciples from fighting with each other. However, for a tier 9 peak warrior to cripple three average disciples' cultivation, the sect would most likely turn a blind eye to it. This was a world where the strong ruled and fairness did not apply. Piatich. As soon as he finished, Lan Hai unsheathed the long sword in his hands and he pointed it right at Shweda. He was a tier 9 peak warrior, so crippling a tier 5 warrior disciple was easier than killing an ant. With a long sword pointed at him, Shweda was frozen still. There was nowhere he could hide. In a situation like this, the fear he felt was enough to kill him. Kia! Shangguang Linger screamed out. Once this tier 9 peak warrior made a move, Shue Da's cultivation would be crippled. She could not help but scream out in panic and fear as her face turned pale white. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 10 Chapter 10 Bam! At this moment, the temperature in the air went up exponentially and the group suddenly felt like they were in the bottomless flaming abyss. With a loud explosion, the long sword in Lan Hai's hand was knocked away. A young man in white appeared in front of Shweda. His face wore a faint smile but his eyes stared coldly at Lan Hai. Senior Brotherly! Senior Brotherly! Who are you? As soon as Sheng Wan Linger and Cheng Yun saw Li Ling Tian appear in front of Shweda, they were instantly relieved. Lan Hai looked over at Li Ling Tian with a shocked expression. He was a tier 9 peak warrior and although he did not use his full power, it was still not something an average warrior could deflect. Feeling the hot air surrounding them, he felt like his entire being was being suppressed. With a serious look on his face, he was surprised that there was a person who had reached such a cultivation level yet he had not heard of him. Who am I? That's none of your business, but since you were idiotic enough to lay a hand on my friends, then you should pay the price for it. Li Ling Tian showed a cheeky grin on his face. He had only been together with these three disciples for one day, but he felt like they were friends that were worth making. When he saw this situation, he naturally would not sit idly, especially since he was the one who killed Lan Luo. Tier 5 Warrior, do you know who I am? Lan Hai seriously assessed Li Lingtian's cultivation level, but upon learning that he was a Tier 5 Warrior, Lan Hai no longer thought much of this person. After all, he had defeated quite a few Tier 9 Warriors. Can you not act so self-important? Aren't you that Lan Luo's older brother? Another piece of trash. Li Ling Tian looked at Lan Hai in disgust. This person was a slow idiot. No matter how strong he was, this was the type of guy who would not know how he died even after he had been killed. You. You're the one who ambushed Lan Luo, right? Since you came here voluntarily, I'll take your life as compensation. Upon hearing Li Ling Tian talk about Lan Luo, Lan Hai instantly understood. This young man standing in front of him must be the culprit who had murdered Lan Luo. Lan Luo's death may mean nothing much to Lan Hai, but this young man had threatened him. Now, there was no way he could let him off. Hurricane Cyclone. Die. Lan Hai's hands waved around non-stop before whirlwinds started to form on his hands. These whirlwinds created a cyclone that was seven feet wide and it shredded the air. Shweda and company looked terrified. This was the genius tier 9 peak warrior whose hurricane cyclone had defeated countless tier 9 peak warriors. With such a skill unleashed in front of them, the three were shell-shocked as they stared idly at the hurricane cyclone. 
In their minds, they were trembling in fear and they could not help but worry for Li Lingtian. Li Lingtian may be strong, but he was still a mere tier 5 warrior disciple. Humph! What a lame facade! It looks fancy, but it lacks substance. Flaming Divine Fist! Come through! Li Lingtian took a serious look at the hurricane cyclones that were in Lan Hai's hands. This superior amber tier skill was definitely strong, but a tier 9 peak warrior would never be able to control a superior amber tier skill if its potential was not fully utilized at all. However, a tier 9 warrior was a tier 9 warrior after all, and they possessed superior skills. So, he could not afford to be careless. Activating his heaven and earth reincarnation technique, the flaming true chi from the fire dragon's heart surged out through his fists. As the explosive flaming chi and hurricane cyclones ripped through the air, these two attacks instantly collided with each other. Bam! Hiss! With a dull impact, followed by a ripping sound, the hurricane cyclones dissipated in an instant. The explosive flaming chi then entered Lan Hai's body before it started to continuously corrode away his dantian. Spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood, his body was flung thirty feet backward through the air. He looked like death. My cultivation. My cultivation. You've crippled my cultivation. D asterisk MNU. Arg. The three people were stunned as they could not believe what they had witnessed. Li Ling Tian had annihilated a genius tier 9 peak warrior with a single punch. He had defeated the ninth ranked genius in the outer sections. At this point, Lan Hai was shrieking in agony. He could feel that his cultivation was rapidly disappearing, swallowed away by the flaming chi inside his body. He was trembling with fear. Finally, his cultivation disappeared without leaving a single trace, and there was not one bit of true chi left within his dantian. A warrior's cultivation could be said to be their second life. Now that his cultivation was gone, he could not take this kind of trauma. Senior brotherly, so you do have more amazing hidden talents. Shweda walked up and tapped Li Lingtian cheekily in the chest with his fist as he said out loud. The shock on his face was still apparent. A tier 5 warrior had somehow used an inferior amber tier skill to defeat his opponent and crippled his opponent's cultivation. Isn't it just a tier 9 warrior? When it comes to skills. Yes, the stronger the better, but one still needs to control it better to get a stronger effect. Let's go. Li Lingtian calmly replied. Regarding his own flaming divine fist, even though it was just an inferior amber tier, he had already trained it to his limits. So, it should be good enough to fight against the best of moderate skills, much less after using the fire dragon's heart true chi in his dantian. The true chi from the fire dragon's heart was something that could not be replicated when it came to fire path true chi. Using it to defeat a warrior was naturally not a problem at all. Furthermore, in a fight between warriors, there were not many fancy tricks. Instead, it was based on their strength and skills. From that perspective, he did technically use a trick and gained a huge benefit from it. Things aren't that simple. Although Lan Hai was only a ninth ranked outer sect genius, he still has an uncle in the inner sect who was a tier 1 warrior spirit. As the group quickly left the scene, Cheng Yun informed Li Lingtian. Li Lingtian defeating Lan Hai as a tier 5 warrior had already far exceeded their expectations. However, if his opponent was a warrior spirit powerhouse, it would only mean death. When there is a will, there is a way. I'll continue to train for some time, so let's not care about the other things for now. As soon as Li Lingtian said that, he continued to walk forward, leaving Shweta and the others confused as they stared at his silhouette. They had always felt that Li Lingtian was mysterious and unpredictable, but who would have thought that he would remain so collected even with the looming threat of a warrior spirit? Nevertheless, this Li Lingtian was certainly a good friend. If he did not step in, the three of them would have undoubtedly had their cultivations crippled. After Li Lingtian left Shweda and company, he walked over to the library chamber. 
now that he had quite a few vitality pills, he could continue to train for quite some time. However, the only skill that he had grasped was the inferior amber tier flaming divine fist. It still felt lackluster when up against good warrior opponents, much less a powerful foe. As for the ice vitality divine fist, he would never unleash it unless it was absolutely necessary, especially since the ice vitality divine fist was too dangerous. After crippling Lan Hai's cultivation, he was now faced with a potentially new threat of a warrior spirit seeking him out. Furthermore, the Sky Cloud Sect Grand Tournament was getting closer as well. He had to make himself stronger. Library Chambers The most mysterious forbidden grounds of the Sky Cloud Sect, where all the tomes for skills and techniques were kept in this one spot. In fact, this institution was the very foundation for a guild. The Library Chambers was located at the mountain peak in the center of the entire Sky Cloud Sect. Countless fearsome warriors were patrolling the main entrance at all times, with warrior spirits hidden amongst them. Sky Cloud Sect Sacred Grounds Visitors, please register. A loud voice rang out as a dozen Tier 7 warriors walked out, blocking Li Lingtian's way. They carefully assessed Li Lingtian. Peripheral disciple Li Lingtian, wishing to pick out one skill tome. Li Lingtian spoke as he pulled out his Peza from his storage sack before he handed it over to them. Li Lingtian, Peripheral Disciple. All right, go in. One of the warriors took Li Lingtian's Paisi and carefully inspected it. He then took a good look at Li Lingtian once again. A moment later, once he had confirmed that there were no issues, he returned the Peza to Li Lingtian. Thank you, senior brothers. Taking back the Peza, Li Lingtian politely thanked the few Tier 7 warriors and headed inside. Soon, he entered the library chambers. The building was four stories tall. The first floor was for warrior disciples where they could select the technique and skill tomes, whereas the second floor was for warrior spirits to select the technique and skill tomes. As for the top two floors, he had no idea what they were for. Senior, I am Disciple Li Ling Tian, a Tier 5 warrior. I am here to pick a skill. Once he entered the library chambers, an elder was seated right at the entrance. After taking a quick look at Li Ling Tian, the elder disregarded him. Upon seeing that, Li Ling Tian bowed to the elder. Entering this place to select a skill or technique not only required spiritual stones, but it also required cultivation levels. Disciples who had not achieved a tier 5 warrior would not be able to gain access to this library chamber. First floor, half an hour. The elder nodded as he pointed towards the library chambers. When he entered the actual library chamber, Li Ling Tian was stunned. It looked exactly like the type of libraries that were back in his past life. The only difference was that this place was filled to the brim with tomes for skills and techniques. However, luckily for him, the skill tomes and technique tomes were separated and even neatly organized based on their warrior soul type. Li Ling Tian searched accordingly via the categorization of warrior souls. Otherwise, with so many different techniques and skills tomes available here, there would be no way he could find one that suited him within just half an hour. He had finally found the Fire Path Warrior Soul skills. Li Ling Tian checked out the skill he saw but shook his head after. Although this flaming three forms was a moderate skill, it was no match against his flaming divine fist. After putting in so much effort to train an inferior skill to its absolute limits, picking a moderate one right now would be a plain waste of spiritual stones and time. You're tuning into the Han Li's Wuxia Adventures YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this journey to catch the most captivating stories. Chapter 11 Chapter 11 Ha! Huh. He did not find anything he was fond of among the ice and fire path skill techniques. Although there were plenty of moderate and superior choices, none of them suited him. Not only did he discover the astounding sword technique that was on the side by chance, but it was also an amber tier superior skill. This will be it then. Li Lingtian's face bore a smile. The characters played on the television back in his past life often carried themselves with poise wielding a sword. 
Influenced by this tradition, he had taken more of a liking towards sword techniques. The requirement for great talent was not a big deal. With his past life's wisdom, he could grasp all skills and techniques at first glance and become adept upon cultivation. The fact that he had cultivated the breeze technique after twenty minutes was proof of that. If it were not for the breeze technique, he would have died. Senior, I want this astounding sword technique. Li Ling Tian uttered with respect as he pushed forth the astounding sword technique towards the elder. Mm, young man, I would advise you to change this skill. This astounding sword technique may be a superior skill but rarely anyone in Sky Cloud Sect could master it. Based on your talent, you'll find that a moderate skill will be more in your favor. The elder looked at Li Ling Tian in the eye after taking a glance at this manual. It was overambitious for a tier 5 warrior to select a superior skill. Moreover, the astounding sword technique was cultivated by many yet only a handful had mastered it. In the end, this astounding sword technique was barely anyone's choice. Thank you, senior, but I'd like to try to comprehend it. If it doesn't work, I'll change to another. Li Ling Tian revealed a smile as he politely said. As this was a superior sword skill, it might not work for other people. However, for someone from the 21st century, this was not a big deal. Well, that's up to you. It'll be 200 mediocre spiritual stones. Although Li Ling Tian did not listen to his advice, the elder said nothing further. The words of a wise man often rang true, this young man would come to appreciate the elder's kind words when he comes to a standstill in cultivation. Thank you, senior. Li Ling Tian fished out 200 mediocre spiritual stones from his storage sack and handed them over to the elder before he left with the astounding sword technique. Now that his pocket of 800 spiritual stones was lighter by 200, he finally realized the importance of spiritual stones. When he was back in his room, he began to study the astounding sword technique. The act of exchanging skills and techniques with spiritual stones in Sky Cloud Sect was to put pressure on the disciples and create a sense of competitiveness. Yet out there, this superior sword technique would not be worth just 200 spiritual stones. It was not heart-wrenching for Li Ling Tian to fork out 200 spiritual stones even though the inner vital and materials of a level 6 demonic beast combined was only worth 10 spiritual stones. He would not have gained that many inner vitals and spiritual stones if it were not for Yang Chongxiao's storage sack. It took him a brief moment to read through the astounding sword technique. The first two forms drove a huge force and even though others may not be capable of cultivating it, it was a different story for him. However, he was not in the state to decipher the third form as it bore profound wisdom that surpassed any drive or power. In the next two days, Li Ling Tian continuously went over the bright moon in soft breeze. Not only did he show no signs of slowing down in those two days, but he even forewent the heaven and earth reincarnation. Li Ling Tian gazed at his long sword. The energy around him started to turn strange, it was as if he was a sharp sword. Swoosh! Following a faint noise of something breaking the void, the gleaming shadow that embodied a bright moon moved in a flash, cutting through the air. Rip. As the sound echoed in the air, a three-foot-tall rock was split into half while the long sword in Li Lingtian's hand remained as though it was never swung. If a warrior spirit was here, they would surely be able to catch a glimpse of Li Lingtian pulling the sword at such extreme speed. It is indeed a superior skill. It is already producing such force when I've only just mastered it and am barely at completion. I wonder what kind of warrior would be able to withstand this strength if I pair it with my breeze motion technique. Li Ling Tian smiled at the work of his masterpiece. His decision to choose the astounding sword technique was the right one. While he was deep in cultivation, the fearsome Lan Hai came face to face with a young man in his twenties who was outside a single cultivation room in the inner sect. Brother Hui, you have to vengeance me. My cultivation levels crippled. Hacking with cough, Lan Hai told the young man before him. He had harbored great hatred towards Li Ling Tian for defeating him, a tier 9 peak warrior, with a single move. You piece of trash, 
you can't even defeat a tier 5 warrior. You bring shame to our Lan family. Casting a side glance at Lan Hai, Lan Binhui replied with disdain. Although he was surprised that a tier 5 warrior could defeat a tier 9 peak warrior, Lan Binhui did not see any disciples, who were a warrior and below, a threat. I was ambushed. There were four of them. With a sour expression on his face, Lan Hai dared not object as it was indeed humiliating to be defeated by a tier 5 warrior. So, he insisted that he was ambushed. I'm an inner sect disciple. I can't go against the rules and attack a lowly disciple unless it's outside of the sect, or in the life or death canyon. Lan Binhui coldly blurted. It was embarrassing for a Lan family genius to be ambushed, and by a few ordinary disciples too. Nevertheless, his hands were tied because of the sect rules. This is easy. I can get them to the life or death canyon. You. Brother Hui, did you forget about Yang Tianchen and the few? All right, I'll help you cripple them but you'll have to hand over the blue fleecing fruit as an exchange. I can't cultivate any more, so this blue fleecing fruit is for you. Lan Hai let out a bitter smile before he unwinded his storage sack and handed over a knuckle-sized fruit. This fruit was a treasure amongst warrior for its ability to advance warriors to a higher state. Senior Brother Li, oh no, Senior Brother Li. Li Ling Tian was busy cultivating when he heard a familiar voice. So, he turned to walk out of the room before he saw Qin Yun hurriedly running towards him. What's the matter? Li Ling Tian was confused by Qin Yun's presence. How did Qin Yun find him here? Someone has captured junior sister Shengguan to the life or death canyon. Qin Yun quickly said as he breathed heavily. Seeing Ling Ling Tian's expression, he felt extremely anxious. Shengguan Linger. Who captured her? Taken aback, Li Lingtian had a bad feeling about this. It must be someone who had an agenda against him or else Qin Yun would not know to find him here. I don't know myself. They said to inform you to go there or else they'll cripple junior sister Shangwan in the life or death canyon. They even told me about where you live. Qin Yun described everything that had happened earlier. He was in cultivation when a whistling arrow was fired at him. Attached to it was a note, depicting Shang Wan Linger's whereabouts in the life or death canyon. If they wanted her alive, Li Ling Tian had to move forth to the canyon. Li Ling Tian's location was also written clearly on the note. Life or death canyon, they're seeking death. Li Ling Tian coldly snorted before he strode out. Of course, he was well aware of the life or death canyon. It was a place where fellow disciples settled their personal vendettas, and fights that occurred in the canyon were not bound by the sect rules. Although it was unclear who was messing with him, a few people came into Li Lingtian's mind and one of them was Yang Tianchen, the Yang family's genius disciple. He had already made up his mind that as long as the Yang family stayed away, he would not pick on the Yang family disciples. However, he would teach them a lesson for getting on his nerves.